Doing it live! TGIF, let's get into the rules. Parental discretion is advised. This auction is intended for audiences 18 years of age or older. Shenanigans and comic books for various ages are present. Uh, no drama, bullying, harassment, trolling, mistreatment, and or general a-holery towards other lunatics will be tolerated. The Madhouse Collective does not condone any verbal abuse whatsoever. Please leave the politics, the drama, and the issues at the door. The moderators will not hesitate to ban anyone who refuses to be an excellent member of the community. Be great to each other. Fires rules. Wait for the start line to, to uh, place your bid. Please allow the sellers time to show their auction lot before you get crazy and get into the auction. Keep it civil until that line drops. Claims and bins can be placed at any time by the chat. First come, first serve policy. If you see something you like, drop your claim. The first one to place the claim in the chat will be recognized as the winner of the item. One claim per item. Multiple claims in a single line will only have the first claim recognized. Claim all is the only acceptable alternative to claiming on a single line. Buyers are expected to pay for all winnings within 24 hours. The sellers are here to present the community with great books and collectibles at great prices. Although they may be easy for you to purchase, it comes out of the expense of each seller's time and dedication to bring you these books and collectibles. If you do not communicate with your seller or refuse to pay for your winnings, sellers do have the right to refuse any bins from an active bidder with an outstanding balance and can put these books back up for sale following a 24 hour notice. <clears throat> Sellers, each round per seller is four minutes maximum. We give the sellers four minute slots maximum to show bins, claims and pulls. As soon as the auction item is dropped, the timer will go to two minutes and 30 seconds. If the seller no longer has two minutes and 30 seconds in their four minute slot, the seller begins an auction, the timer will begin with the current time remaining in the four minute round. 30 second overtime will engage if there are multiple active bidders or if there is a bid within the last 30 seconds of an auction round. Overtime will start within, with 30 seconds and refresh after any bid entered within the last 10 seconds. In the event of overtime, 30 seconds will keep refreshing until an end line has dropped due to no bids in time or a fold from other active bidders. Sellers can only claim, bin, or participate in polls after the auction round is over. Sellers can only join in auctions if given permission by the highest active bidder. 
the chat in the community always comes first. Panel members are here to offer books and collectibles to the community. Once the end line has been dropped, the, the sellers can claim by typing their claim in the YouTube chat or by messaging the seller privately. Claims over the microphone will not be accepted due to lag advantage. Um, you guys, thank you to all the patrons that support this channel and the channel members as well. We appreciate you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be here running the show. So all of your proceeds go to supporting the channel, doing the monthly giveaways, as well as keeping the channel alive. So we all appreciate you guys. So if you guys are interested in being part of the patron or channel member uh, subscriptions, go ahead and go to patron.com and look for Madhouse to become a new patron. You get your member perks uh, which are quarterly shenanigans, original art prints, entered into monthly slab giveaways or collectible giveaways, name added to the thank you page at, at the end of or during the uh, or each auction. Uh, YouTube channel members, again, if you guys want to become a new channel member, all you have to do is down there in the chat, there's a dollar sign right next to where you chat. You can go ahead and sign up right there. Um, shenanigans. Uh, badges next to your name in the chat on YouTube and you're also entered into the monthly slab and collectible giveaways and your name is also added to the thank you page so if you guys are interested please sign up for either one or both of them we would appreciate it uh, YouTube super chats if you guys want to do a super chat your name will be entered into a drawing uh, to get merch off of the Madhouse store so if you guys are interested, please go ahead and drop every dollar. Every dollar will count towards uh, that merch or in the on the Madhouse store. So we appreciate you guys. All right. If you guys have it, let's go ahead and hit the like button. We appreciate y'all. And we're going to go ahead and introduce our first seller. Let's do it right here. I'm a master in judo, jujitsu, karate, kung fu, taekwondo, aikido, fucking so I am a master of everything. I'm a trained fucking assassin. <laughs> What's up, Slim? How is everybody doing this beautiful Friday? Thanks for being here with us. Don't mind my voice. I've been a little under the uh, weather this week. I've had a bad cough. That's why I wasn't here Wednesday. You know, you're getting old when you uh, you cough real hard and then you throw your back out. Like, it's been a rough week. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'll, I'll do my best to uh, mute or uh, try not to cough. I'm trying to. But uh, yeah, thanks for being here with us tonight. Uh, appreciate uh, you guys being here. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Uh, I've got a buyer's giveaway. I've got some new books. I got stuff I picked up at the LCS on Wednesday. All kinds of goodies for you. We got a waffle. We got a new waffle going on if you haven't seen it on Instagram yet. So uh, yeah, definitely stick around and uh, we'll see you guys when my turn starts. Thank you very much. Sounds good. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you. All right, guys. I think this guy is new to these this auction, so let's give him a round of applause. Let's give him a great intro. Here he is. What's up? <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Madhouse, where there's always room for another lunatic. I've been practicing that, you know. There you my go. My first time being here. <laughs> Thanks for everybody showing up. I got these two boxes right here, stuff to sell you tonight for two dollars each. I'm gonna copy what Cat Sixty does tonight. Do I'm barbarian Kung Cat Sixty. This is my <laughs> buyer's giveaway. Is a is a thing that uh, uh what's his name? Soul Twice did this, oh, cool. and uh, that's what I'm giving away. It's Oogie Boogie from oh, that's uh, cool. Nightmare Before Christmas. That's all, awesome. Mr. Oogie Boogie. All right, sweet. Well, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you. All right, let's introduce the next seller. Did you just grab my ass? Sir, from where I'm standing, that's a physical impossibility. I know your tricks, Dewey. What's up, Jack? Oh, uh, here I was. I, I thought it was a longer intro. I Sorry. thought I could make it over to the chair. <laughs> Anyways, every day I wake up, and I thank God I'm not Kai Salazar. That's all I got to say. <laughs> No, well, thank I, you for I, being here. We appreciate you, Kat. Uh, I, I love I love Ty actually. Um, yeah, when he's not here. So exactly, exactly. That's it, right? 
so <clears throat> all right well let's uh let's say hello to the chat really quick and then we'll get moving guys btk comics thank you for being here david reese we appreciate you steven spock you bum good to see you slims in the chat and on the panel so it's good to see you in the chat david reese hope you're doing well kenneth bird how are you good to see you Anthony Kirby, what's up, you bum? Good to see you. Hot Mustard Gas, great to see you. Thank you for being here. James, thank you for being here. Canadian Survivalist, hope you're doing well. Chris Arrow, good to see ya. Hope you're doing good as well. Um, and then we've got wonderful PSK. PSK, what's up? How are you? Thank you for being here. We appreciate you guys. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and jump into our first auction round, guys. What, what happened to uh, Barbarian he's, Kung Pao? He, he's messing with his camera. That's what it is. So his camera got disconnected. So we've got devices not connected on the bottom here. So we'll get him back. Yeah, he was mentioning but, he's got a lot of cables and probes. Yeah, yeah. But he might be tripping over it. Who knows? Barbarian we'll Kung Pao. We'll get them figured out. Nubian Phoenix, what's up? Good to see ya. I was gonna do this for my. Let me take a look. I just gotta see. Looks like there's a line in it. Yeah, I am gonna find a better. Give me one second. You're you're fine. Take your time. What is up, you guys? Thank you for being here. If you guys haven't, please make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Let's let's uh, get it. If we can get it up to 25 likes right away, I'll do a giveaway. If we can get it up to 50 likes, I'll do another giveaway, guys. Let's do this. So make sure you guys are smashing that like button. We appreciate y'all being here tonight. If you guys are new, thank you for being here. There's Again, uh, we welcome did, new Did you say if you're nude? Yes, nude, yes nude yes if you guys are nude um yep. well thank you for being here exactly <laughs> that's right exactly well the buyer's giveaway i was gonna do was this uh david naki i'm a dark x-men but it looks like there's a pretty solid line right down on the side here so that's gonna go in the uh scratch and dent box can't give that away it's no bueno so i'm gonna give away another awesome book uh, buyer's giveaway tonight is going to be that brand new Tiago da Silva Batman number 142 Copper Tone Homage limited to 800 with numbered COA. That is going to be our buyer's giveaway tonight. Brand spangly new beautiful foil right there. You got to be in it to win it. Every purchase you make, your name's going to go on the wheel for an opportunity to win that foil. All right. So that's the buyer's giveaway. Do have a winner's choice waffle going on here again. If you guys didn't see it on uh, Instagram, I'm going to go ahead and show you now. $5 a spot. We started off with 40 spots. We've already sold 10, so we've got 30 spots left. Like I said, this is a winner's choice waffle, so you do have your choice. So here's your options. Beautiful Nathan Zerdy signed Catwoman number 47. Ooh. Got that multicolor sig right down in the bottom corner there. Two Bruce, love the necklace. <laughs> very, very nice. That's one of your options on the waffle. This one's great too. The uh, Poison Ivy, uh, number 17. He did the green sig. It's kind of hard to see on the side there on the foil. There it is. To match, you know, the Poison Ivy green there. So foil signed Zerdy, Poison Ivy 17. Those are your options. $5 a spot, 30 spots left. And let's get into some of the bins. This is some stuff I picked up from the LCS on Wednesday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, this cough has been rough. All right. How about that uh, Transformers number 7 B cover right there? We got $6 on this one. Hey, I know I know what your problem is. I know why you're, you're coughing and you're sick. Why that, that shirt you're wearing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of not having a good team anymore. <laughs> Come back, Brady. We love you. You can still play, man. Here's another Transformers number seven. 
the A cover. That's a sick cover. Is that Starscream? Is that Starscream or is that Jetfire? Starscream. Yeah. I always get the two mixed up sometimes. <laughs> yes, that's right, Kirby. You ain't lying. I haven't seen a, a good David Mack cover in a while. How about that X-Men 97 number two David Mack cover right there? B cover, six bucks. Ooh, that's a cool cover. Yeah. That X-Men 97 blowing up right now. And we got the A cover on that X-Men 97 number two. Six bucks on that one. What's up, David Brewer? You bum? Uh, Batman and Robin and Howard number two. A cover, six bucks. So there was a free comic book day of that, too. Oh, was there? Yeah. PSK, I'm going to grab that David Mack. Yep, Very nice. David Mack's phenomenal. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't see a lot of covers with him lately, too. It's kind of kind of odd. He was blowing up there for a while. Well, dude, he was, he was like uh, Scotty Young. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Wolverine number 47, the um, Marvel Masterpieces cover with Sabretooth. Seven bucks. How about that new Harley Quinn number 38? That's the B cover. Eight bucks on that one. What is that? Uh, Harley Quinn number 38, the B cover. Oh, interesting. Came out Wednesday. Eight bucks on that. Uh, Arrow's Arrow. going to take Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin and Howard. Nice pickup. Uh, Batman and Robin, number eight. This is the G cover. Ooh, look at the tracks. That's cool. Look at that. With Batman yeah. laughs. That's dope. Eight bucks on this one, yeah. If you guys like the Batman Who Laughed, you should get Gork and Amir to do, to do a commission. Oh my god, he draws the freaking greatest Batman Who Laughs. Gotcha, PSK. And last but not least, this is a one-shot. Dungeons and Dragons, The Thief of Many Things. That's the B cover. Ten bucks Ooh. on this one. Any D&D &D fans out there? Do you have any Lysol wipes? Everybody's asking that you disinfect the books before you send them. Guys, <laughs> guys, listen. Those books will be so glad to get out of the presence of that, that shirt that they will disinfect themselves. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, germs don't uh, last like on surfaces for very long. Is that how COVID didn't spread? What's that? <laughs> Yeah. I said, is that how COVID didn't spread? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and just so you guys know, I have been putting the um, hand sanitizer to my hands, and I don't cough in my hands. I cough into my shirt. So it's the shirt that's sick. I think Cat 60s right. <laughs> Told you. Told you. <laughs> All right. And let's see. This is going to be winner's choice. Uh, $7 start line. These are all exclusive trade variants. Man, I feel like my voice is going been a rough week <laughs> uh, all right so we got in that brand new asm number 44 ivan tau uh, get a kissy cover man those are always bomb yeah i actually had somebody buy my asm 43 the tyler kirkham i had a 9.8 virgin uh because they collect the kissy covers so that sold on whatnot today do you have asm get the cure for the movie Silent jones <laughs> All right, and we got that brand new uh, Nathan Zerdy Edge of Spider Verse number one. First appearance of Weapon Eight. What's up, Stony? Yeah, bum. It's good to see you. Hey, I've Slim's got a version of this in a nine eight oh as God. well. How about some uh, John Jane goodness? Absolutely love this cover. Venom number fourteen. Spidey's head coming out of Venom's mouth there. Cool. We got a uh, Batman Beyond uh, Neo Year number one trade. Mm -hmm. 
we got that beautiful Zerdy Catwoman number 62. Man, this has been a hot book over the last week and a half, two weeks. I did Zerdy get one of those, right? Uh, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I had a 9.9, .9, but it sold pretty fast. Uh, oh, brand new oh. Derek Chu. What's that? Oh, Richard Johnson is asking how much is for D, but so it's winner's choice. So the auction lot is $7 per book right now. So what you would want to do is you would want to bid $7, and then if anybody outbids you, then you would they, it would be $8 per book or whatever. So each claim, each letter is uh, $7 right now. So you would bid 7 and so you would be in the lead right now. And so, then, but, so let's say you, let's say you win the round. You 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 bid 7. Nobody bids against you. You would get your choice of any of those books at $7 each. Correct. Correct Mundo. All right. We got that brand new Derek Chu Spectacular Spider-Man number 1 the dunk cover. This has been a really hot book too. Uh, Marvel Voices Identity, number one. <laughs> Not like that, Richard. <laughs> Not like that, Dick. No, that's fine. <laughs> like, it's, everybody knows he wants the D. But <laughs> as long as no one else wants the D, they're not going to bid against him. But if I want the D, I might go to D. <laughs> Jackpot and Black Cat, number one. Damn. The exclusive. Uh, Zerdy's Dark Knights of Death Metal, uh, number three. This is actually a uh, Kincaid Zerdy collaboration on this cover. Damn. Such a great cover. I absolutely love that. I have Got a this. skull shoulder pad. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's and there. I got the exclusive on the brand new. Deadpool number one, Derek Chu. Yes, that is Derek Chu. Brand new Deadpool number one exclusive. That is the lot, guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start that timer. Yeah, you got to get a kiss cover, man. Yep. Yeah. I have yeah, one of these in a virgin 9.8 if anybody's interested. Steven Spock likes those uh, reflections. He should uh, start collecting the kissy covers, too. <laughs> I mean, that's a good book to be picking up. Just going to say that Batman Beyond number one, that series is going to take off here soon. So. Yeah, it was pretty popular last time I put one up, too. No. <laughs> Yeah, Steven Spock doesn't like kissing. Unless it's <laughs> with another guy. <laughs> if it's guy on guy action, he's in. So you're saying that it's a gambit cover. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Steven Spock. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody going to take it up to $8? <laughs> I mean, speak for yourself, Chris. <laughs> My bid does get priority. Yeah. Well, they already know that he's going to take the D. I have a feeling he's going to take it all just to mess with everybody. He just <laughs> played the best that game. Would a buyer's choice in the ever. <laughs> like, everybody's like, be... well, we don't want D, so we'll just leave it and we'll try and claim it. <laughs> He's going to take it all and say, fuck you, everybody. <laughs> all right, we got about a minute left on the timer. Beyond. 
Hey, Slim, do you ever get food in your beard and just feel like it never comes out and you're just always like, you know you got it out, but no matter what you do, it still feels like it's there and the only way to get it out is just like to take a full shower? Yeah, uh, it's generally the sides right here. Yeah, long... that's what I'm saying. I just oh, ate, man. I just ate Brutal. spaghetti. And it depends on what I'm eating. Like, if I eat spaghetti, obviously it gets right here. And I'm oh, yeah, constantly like... <laughs> Like, I swear that's, that's, wait, no, that's not sauce. That's just more air. Well, you'd never go hungry if you're hungry. I'm kind, of, just... I'm kind of jealous because normally I've got the best beard on the show, but I, I'm not anymore. Well, <laughs> I think I've been dethroned. That's why I'm trying to hide it. Right <laughs> so I don't have the timers downloaded like everybody else does, Patrick Kelly. So we have to run it off my phone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all right. If you have like one of those really loud, annoying buzzers when your alarm goes off, you can set it and everybody will hear it. Pretty much. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's how we did it back in the day. I didn't even know you could get timers on your screen. And periodically, you can flash it at the camera. Yeah. There we go. Um, all right, Richard Johnson, you're in at $7. So you get first dibs. The end line has dropped. So you can go ahead and claim whichever book you want. Each book that you claim is $7 a piece. And we do ask that you reach out to your sellers immediately since you are new to the streams. I'm not familiar with you. I, I I've seen else. him around. Okay. He's been around. Yeah, shoot me a message on IG. I'm not sure if we've done business. If we have, and I don't remember, I do apologize. <laughs> I saw I was just, I just ate spaghetti. And so I'm sitting there like, I know there's some there. Next thing you know, they're like, oh, there's a mushroom. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> so I don't I don't have a huge beard, but it's it's really horrible. Like if you're eating something with syrup, and the syrup gets oh, in the God. beard, <laughs> you're kind of fucked. So, so Richard, was it only D that you were after? Was there any other than just the D? Yeah, it's Richard, you just need to type in the chat that you want letter D, so everybody knows. That way, if anybody wants any backups on unclaimed stuff, they can claim what they want. So we're just waiting on you, buddy. You and also, uh, also, um, do you have Instagram? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here's what's left, guys. The bar has been set at just seven dollars. If anybody wants any backup claims. Yeah, I got oh, that set aside for you, Richard Johnson. Like I said, if you could shoot me a message on uh, Instagram so we could uh, touch base, that would be great. Arrow's going to grab A. Going to take right, that so brand new Ivan Tau ASM 44. So did you want the Batman Beyond as well, Richard? <laughs> was, that, was that me? No, that was D. Oh, okay. He's, he's taking okay. the D. He just doesn't want to say that he wants the D anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's over the D. Yeah. Uh, did you, you got Seven dollars, thirty. A couple of thirty, seven bucks. Brand new Derek Chu, uh, Chu Deadpool number one. Zerdy Edge of Spider Verse number one. John Jang, Venom 14. David Brewer going to take J. That brand spangly new Deadpool. Very nice. All right. I All don't right. think there's any other backups. Thank you guys very much. I'll get everybody's name on the wheel. Don't forget that buyer's giveaway tonight is that limited to 800. Batman 142, Tiago da Silva, Copper Tone homage. Brand it new is $40 foil right there. That's the buyer's giveaway, guys. It is scrolling down here on the bottom, but I will tell you what, I will actually just highlight it here really quick and we'll just drop in the chat. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Bear with Slim me. Slim Dick Insider. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, did you show I one more time? Slim? I. Yes. You uh, did? Uh, I can show it again. This is the uh, Zerdy Kincaid collaboration, Dark Knights, Death Metal. Such a beautiful cover. Absolutely love it. Yeah. So if you don't have it, you're sleeping. Just saying. 
All right, uh, PSK is going to take your eye. All right, I got you, PSK. Thank you. All right, thank you, Slim. All right, we're going to move it on over to this guy. Okay, everybody. Everything is $2 tonight. All this, all the comic books that I put up are $2. Hey, and just fucking, like Cat stop 60. Stop in my game. Just like <laughs> Cat 60, if you want all of them, you have to claim it before everybody and I'll do 15, but it'll be really hard because I know how these things work and as you go, things get claimed and then, but yeah, $2 a book, two. So we got a uh, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Punisher, Deathlock and Doom, that's Deathlock uh, number three, New Mutants 100, first print, Ghost Rider or Punisher War Journal 29, Defenders 696, I don't have letters on them, so you can imagine that this is A, and then B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Uh, Immortal Hulk 25. Um, no, that's a regular thing. Secret Avengers 30. There's Venom on there. Uh, this is Zombie number zero from Shadow War. This is uh, Teen Titans 31. I think that's the first crush, but I can't remember. And then that's... Uh, the Marvel Knights Fantastic Four, uh, Michael Turner covered. This thing, this isn't in the All right, so that Teen Titans, uh, Patrick Kelly is going to claim for $2. Gotcha. What's up, Steve Wagner? It's good to see you. Thanks for being here, and thank you for smashing that like button. We appreciate you. Okay, let's see. In place of that, how about some Miss Minutes? This is a uh, timeless number one variant with Todd, uh, Todd Knopf. Miss Minutes. For two dollars. Okay, so uh, here's a Fantastic Four three hundred. We're going there. And how about uh, Uncanny X Men three eleven? Bless you. Go on there. Uh, here's a Immortal Hulk number sixteen. I forget why that was. I forget why all these Immortal Hulk books like that. It seemed like every other one had a key in it of some kind. Immortal Hulk 24, The World Breaker. Let's see. Here's uh, Avengers 301. Look, there's three. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, never mind. Uh, here's uh, NYX number six. What is that? Steven Spock. Is, is that, that a reflection cover? I see. Oh, is Steven Spock here? Oh man! <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy number six, something or, or other variant, some kind of another. Uh, here's Red Sonia number five. Devil with a sword. Oh, he says he's got that one. Oh, here's a uh, Red Sonia number six. Same she devil with a sword. That goes over there. No takers. What the okay. fuck? Let's try uh, Silver Surfer 143. That's a later issue in the run for two bucks. How's about. Oh, wait. This is a freaking variant of some kind. Hang on, I gotta figure out who it is. It's uh, Conan Serpent Wars number two. Something variant. <laughs> the something variant. Oh, here's another Red Sonia, number 11. It looks very angry. Look at over there. Do you really, Steven Spock? Wow, that's insane. Legion of Superheroes annual number one newsstand. Very nice, high grade copy. That totally looks like this dude has like a huge muff. Oh. He needs a trim. PSK is going to take your G, which is the one next to the Silver Surfer. This one? Yep. Okay, that's PSK. Uh, next up, this is Omega Men number one. Here, I can put that right there, can I? 
Got the Warlock keys here. Here's the Warlock 75. Uh, let's see. Put it there. I have a few Warlock keys. Does anybody even like Warlock? Or Lord, not Warlock. My bad. Uh, 72. I don't know why they're keys. I just know that they were worth something more than a dollar. <laughs> uh, this is number 55. Wait, you don't want this. Not this. Why is that in there? Uh, nobody likes cable, right? Oh, wait, here's a uh, Secret Defenders number one. Oily. That's a freaking dope book, and it's so sad. <laughs> Here's a uh, Marvel Comics Presents 93 with the screaming mad Wolverine on it. Wow. I'm over here now, aren't I? And Doctor Strange 36. It's almost just as easy for me to just put these one at a time and stack them all up, isn't it? Here's another Deathlock number six with Deathlock's fighting the Punisher. He's acting exactly like me. <laughs> oh, wait, here's another copy of that. Deathlock 3. Where he's fighting Doom. Here's an ash can for a $20.99 limited. It's also pretty really. I mean, somebody better jump on that. Just say it. Here's a New Warriors number 27. First appearance of, uh, let's see, it says uh, unofficial Bart Simpson appearance. PSK is going to take your ash can. Gotcha. Yeah, what this is, is there's a family in there that's actual, like, it's not, you know, obviously, it's not real people, but they're drawn to look like real people, but they're versions of the Simpsons. There's a Nightwing, uh, I don't even know. Is this, this is some kind of acetate. Nightwing something or other. Nightwing 100. I think that's a $9 cover price on that. Yeah, there were. But there were so many variants of that. Here, I'll put it over here since I don't want that. Make it easy. How about uh, Gen 13, number 7? Jim Lee. Near Mint copy. Then we got Champions. <laughs> Amadeus Cho is the Hulk. He's the Hulk. Look at you way over there. This is the best Captain America story ever. Captain America, high on meth, fighting crime. No. It is, I swear oh to God. Goodness. Oh my gosh. Captain America 375. Look it up. Here's a Captain America number eight from volume two. First Baron Char of the Kree. Now, uh, let's see. Here's a uh, green arrow. This is when uh, Kevin Smith was writing it, but this was after he had stopped writing it. Now that I think about it. Number 24. I don't know why that's in here, but it must be some kind of key of some kind, I guess. Um, this is Death, uh, uh, Deathstroke Yogi Bear number one. No. -uh. Yes. <laughs> Dude. There you go. You go over there. On the D. Put Deathstroke on the D. Here's a Superman. Batman, Superman, World's Finest, number 12. You can go down there. And, other and 52, week 48. Uh, I don't, it's, it's got either a cameo or first appearance of somebody that shows up at some point in there at some point. I don't know. All right. Yeah, I'm, do stuff, so I'm not too up on it. That was the timer, and PSK is going to take your E, your super Batman Superman. Gotcha. I'm going to go ahead and drop that end line. So, here we go. Okay. Um, give it a couple seconds. What can you uh, look at that 52? Is that have? Is that who's on the cover of that? Which one? On J. Oh, it's the question. Oh my God. Okay, never mind. Right here? Yeah, that's the question. But that's not what the key is. Like, it has... it. I, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but it, it might be one of them Kate Kane books, or it might be something else. 
Honestly, okay, don't so, know. so if nobody claims that and B, I will take both of those, but I don't want to take away from the chat. So if nobody claims them like in the DMs, that's the death stroke one. Okay. So. Gosh, yeah. Oh, uh, did yeah. I just move my camera? I just nope, you're wire. good. You're still good. Okay. Thank, thank you, thank you. Guys. Thank you, thank you, Barb. On if anybody is looking at, or is interested in anything besides comic books, look, say it in the chat. Because I I'm having a yard sale tomorrow, so I'm have I have like so much stuff, and it's all sitting out right now where I can go right to it. Like, I got yep. vinyl records, I got sealed VHS tapes, I got cards, I got freaking plushies. There you go, So many go. things. It's, it's ridiculous up in here. <laughs> he might have it if you guys are looking for it. All right. Thank you, Barb. We appreciate you. We're going to move it on over. Okay, I just, wanted to, I just wanted to make sure that, uh, that the um, bottom thing wasn't in the way. You know me, $2 claims. Let's do it. All right, guys. Start claiming away. Good boy. Preview. A and B. So you got the uh, Sink Havage. Dang, um, somebody's popping off rounds. That's uh, exclusive, two exclusives. $2 each. You can get the trade in the burden so you get the set. Total Eclipse book one. Um, Book two, Swamp Thing Annual number, I don't know. I can't see it from here. Embrace number one, and that is signed. Oh my God, is that, um, who's the fucking guy? I can't remember, I can't remember. I know that signature, I'll, it'll come to me. Um, Batman Dark Knight 11, The Mask number seven. These are Lady Hell number ones. Um, I think this is Perillo. Can't remember who did this one or that one. There you go. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. We've got Patrick Kelly for Embraced and the Lady Hell underneath it. Oh, there's another Lady Hell. The that's the uh, cosplay. And then we've got uh, Anthony Kirby going to take your good boy, both of them. Is that a PSK? The first yeah. one. Yes. Yes. PSK. That's a good, that's a good book. And I think it's, I think it's, um, I can't remember. Good boy's gone. That's Anthony Kirby. Yep. Okay. Anthony Kirby's got a freaking short box. He's working on a long box now. <laughs> that's how I feel sometimes. Oh! Hey, I got your poster the other day, and it yeah. didn't have they didn't have the cap on it. Really? Yeah. The cap came off. Yeah. But the poster was still in there. Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, Anthony Kirby's gonna take your Lady Hell on E, which is the cosplay. All right, guys, give him a minute, and he's going to refresh here. Daredevil 238. It's not in great shape, but it's a Daredevil 238. Detective Comics number 580. That's a killer Two-Face. The Thing number 26. Big Top Brawl. <laughs> Superman, number one, first appearance of that guy. I can't remember his name. Barbara. Wait, who where? Uh, Superman. But is it Marta Mar um Metallo? Metallo. Yeah, Metallo like reinvented or something. This is the dope book. This should not be in here, but Batman Two Face Strikes Twice, it's a square bound. Grendel Tales. Three of six. Grendel Tales, ten of ten. Grendel, uh, 
Yes, I'm going to throw a Grendel patch. <laughs> Grendel 26. Thank you for the super sticker, Steve Wagner. We appreciate you. Here, we'll do an excellent number one, Scotty Young. Your name is on the wheel for some Madhouse merch. Um, I just put that thing up, so there you go. We're done. All right, guys. Who's, oh, PSK. Okay, so PSK is going to claim your Superman. And he's going to claim your Two Face Square Bound. Okay. And Anthony Kirby's going to claim your Scotty Young. Kirby. Derby, Derby. Let's see who's the first one to get this one. Aphrodite number... Ooh. Aphrodite 9, I guess. Uh, that's a Wizard Zero. So that's a Wizard comic. Comic. Patrick Kelly's going to claim it. <laughs> Christ, Trollfire's not in there claiming those. Here's another Two Face Showcase ninety three. All right, guys, get in on these. You want to reset one more time? Super Villains twenty one. Uh, or Super Villain Villains number two. Ooh. That should, probably shouldn't be in there. Probably not. Xenolic Tales number three. Um, Red Room number two. Avengers 1.1. Do a Flash number four. Oh, Death of Venom verse number two for Venom Boy. That is a uh, Stegman. Oh, nice. I don't. I, I think that's the only Stegman I've got. Uh, Marvel team up five first uh, Ultimate Nick Fury. All right, PSK is going to take your super villains. And he's going to take your stagman. He's going to take the stagman. He is. I don't know if that's the only one I got. It's the only, it's the only one I've seen going through books. So. The Nightmare Before Christmas, number four. Ooh. Mirror I, didn't know they did a, I didn't know they did a comic book. They sure did. Yeah. Bruce in the pudding. It's right there. I know. Ten. But where's Lady V when we need her? She's a huge not very poor Christmas fan. Kid Cult number forty five. And the raw hide here. It's a twenty five cent Marvel Seeger Wars. Uh Marvel Superhero Seeger Wars. Number eleven. Um, it's got a, it's got a tape pull right here. Hey, for two dollars you can't beat it. Two bucks. Two bucks. Yep, that's exactly what it is, Steve Wagner. Oh, this is that's a dope book. Uh, Daredevil 257, it's got a subscription crease, or it was folded over. Incredible Hulk 310 in a Newsy. Ooh, Ooh. This, this has the potential to be a Mark Jewelers. No, I've already been through it. I've already been through it.
we can toss that over on the Nick Fury. I thought it was the goats in France. What? X-Men oh. number 14. That is uh, part of Executioner's song. Oh! No, I'm not throwing that up. Fuck that. Uh-oh. Spawn 1 limited edition package. It is the Prestige. Um, the Prestige. It's got Spawn 1. It's got Wildcats 1. It's got Darker Image 1. And it's got Wildstar Sky Zero number 1. Um, these are freaking super rare. Um, the clamshell has a has a little split on it. It's not horrible bad. These are usually cracked all over the place. It only has this little thing here. Um, Forty bucks. <laughs> Forty that's bucks. Nice. That's stupid because that's a hundred dollar book. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I didn't set a timer for your round. I just kind of let you swing with it. So I'm good. I can I can go ahead and drop the end line here, y'all. Uh, and we're gonna see them on the next round. Thank you, Cat Sixty. We appreciate okay. you. All right, guys. If you haven't, please make sure you guys are. How do I get this bigger? Hold on. There we are. I think if you just rub it a little bit, it'll get bigger. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> That's what I've been told. Story checks out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I told you, 25 likes. We are going to be going to give away. So get in there, guys. Hashtag TGIF. It is Friday. Thank goodness. We're all happy to be here. Give you guys some goodness. Get in there. PSCS. Good to see you. Marshall Warpath, you bum. Good to see you. Hidden Funko, what's up, you bum? But you guys, if we could push it to 50, I got another giveaway. So, you know, we got waffles that Slim's got going on. We might do some waffle spots, y'all. That's what I need to do. I need to figure out a new waffle to run. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and run it. Looks like we only got 10 people entered. But here we go, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Who is going to win? Anthony Kirby. All right, you bum. This is what you could potentially win. Anthony, would you like Dark Phoenix Glow in the Dark, Walmart exclusive, Funko Bop, or would you like a Nightwing Page Puncher? Or, yeah, whatever these are. McFarlane Toys goodness. So, do you want Nightwing or would you like Dark Phoenix? Funko. Your choice. Phoenix, please. Alright. Going to you. Congrats, dude. Awesome. Awesome. So, you guys, we are going on to our second round and then we're going to have a guest seller come on for the third and fourth round, guys. So, woohoo! Alright, Slim. What you got for us? All right, this is our buyer's giveaway tonight, guys. Batman 142, Tiago da Silva, Copper Tone Homage. Limited to 800 on this foil. Does come with a numbered COA. That is our buyer's giveaway tonight. Every purchase you make, your name's going to go on the wheel for an opportunity to win that foil at the end of the show. 
We do have a winner's choice waffle going on right now, guys. We've got two awesome slabs in. Uh, your first choice, if you do win, is Nathan Zerdy's Catwoman number 47, signed by Zerdy in a 9-8. Got that beautiful tricolor signature down there at the bottom. That is your first option. And if that doesn't tickle your fancy, here's your other option. Nathan Zerdy's absolutely gorgeous. Poison Ivy number 17. He's got the green sig on this one to match. The Poison Ivy there looks really, really nice on this cover. Beautiful foil. Those are the options. We started off with 40 spots. We've already sold 10. We've got 30 left at $5 a spot. It only takes one spot to win. So that is the waffle. <clears throat> All right. Let's jump into some of these bins. James P. going to grab two spots. Very nice. And good luck to you, James P. Appreciate you. What's up, Black Spiders? Good to see you. Happy Friday to you, too. Hope you're doing well. All right. These are some of the books that I uh, picked up on Wednesday at the LCS. Got some goodies here. We've got that uh, brand new Thundercats number three. This is the B cover. Ooh, that is yeah. really sick. Seven dollars yeah. on that one. Wow. And we've got the C cover for seven bucks. That's kind of weird. It looks like kind of Silver Surfer-ish. Yeah, it? it almost looks like they're like, like literally like surfing with the wave. Yeah. Yeah. And we got that Nakayama A cover. I just Ooh. sold my Nakayama A cover on Thundercats number two and a 9.8 today on uh, Whatnot as well. Nice. Seven bucks on this one. Where's yeah, David B? Did he get Nakayama's that already? Nakayama's got pretty locked in on the A covers on uh, Catwoman and Thundercats right now. Oh, thank you, James. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Monsters are my business, number one A cover. Six bucks on this one. Oh, look at that little koala shooting a Uzi. Or is that a, a chainsaw? You got a chainsaw. <laughs> <That laughs> Monsters awesome. are my business. Premier <laughs> issue right there. Six bucks. That looks cool. All right. These won't last long. Get your uh, fingers on the keyboards. Beneath the trees where nobody sees. Number five. A cover, six bucks. Ooh, this is a really cool like cover, too. He's like all split and missing sections. Yeah. Ew. And it's kind of like Captain you know Duck, funny too. Is I, when I literally saw this cover, I thought it said uh, David Brewer on the missing poster. It's Daniel <laughs> Brewer. <laughs> I was like, oh David Brewer? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> six bucks, oh A cover. We should get it and cross it off and put David yeah. on it. <laughs> I'm going to have a remark done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that, that's still up for grabs. Nobody's right? wow. beneath the trees. Number five, A cover, six bucks. Dang, guys. All right. Beneath the trees where nobody sees. Number two, third print, six bucks. Dude, that's creepy. Third printing, six dollars. That's just creep. It's like one of the most hottest current series right now. Yeah. And we've got the number five B cover for six bucks. They do one of these covers uh, on every issue. I like these ones actually myself better. That storybook look. So all three of those six bucks a piece, guys. Also <laughs> in this cough. Um. Sweetie, Candy Vigilante, B cover, six bucks. These are usually pretty hot, too. Those will go fast on whatnot if you don't grab them here. And we got the C cover. Hello. Six bucks. That's a steal, y'all. <laughs> All right. Nothing on the bins or the waffle. 
I thought we did get two on the waffle. All right. Uh, winner's choice. This is going to be a $12 start line. Sweetie, the second one. Pow! Right in the face. Pretty sure uh, Sir Mixalot wrote a song about her. That is all <laughs> yours right there. Will you, will you, will you show the David Brewer uh, cover again? Yes. <laughs> Apparently you're missing, buddy. You might want to call somebody. <laughs> Your name's on that missing poster there, David. Yeah, he's missing part of his midsection here, too. Part of his head. <laughs> Crazy cover. All right, $12 start line, winner's choice. These are all exclusive Virgin variants. He wants that book. I knew he would. It doesn't say your name, by the way. It says Daniel Brewer, but it's very close. Yeah, I had to do a double take when I first looked at the cover. I was like, David Brewer. <laughs> <laughs> very, very close. So you'll have to get it remarked by the artist and um, have him cross it off for you. It's all yours, David. All right. Right? It is cool. Winner's choice. We're going to start off with that David Nakayama Color Bleed Black Suit Spidey ASM number 22. I didn't even realize I had one of these. Somebody asked me for this book and whatnot today, and I was like, no, I don't have any. And then I came across it, and I was like, oh, well, all right, I do have one. Oops. Jenny Frizen cover, Grim number six. That's such a sick cover. Yeah, I've got foils of this, too. Uh, it, the foils are Grim number one, same cover. It's like a pink foil, uh, and those are limited to 400 with a uh, numbered COA. Uh, so if anybody's interested in the foil of this one, just let me know. All right, what do we got up next? How about some slumber number one? Um, no COA on that one. I've got a bunch of books of COAs in this slot. Hmm. Slumber number one. This one is Rain number one. This one is limited to 500 copies with COA. Rain number one. Weird. It looks like the rain's going through her tongue. Yeah. Are we sure that that's rain? It's the wrong color. <laughs> I'm, uh... This one is limited to 500 copies as well. This is unnamed number one. Wow. Wow. There's a reflective cover that you don't have, Steven Spock. Put money on that. This one shouldn't even be in here. This is uh, <clears throat> Immortal Red Sonia number one. Josh Burns cover, 500 print run. COA... Boy, yeah, I like her little uh, leg knife there. Mm -hmm. I feel like sweet. she would be at a very large disadvantage in a tactical situation. Yes, yes. I'm not picking her for my team. <laughs> <laughs> Another 500 print run. Uh, this is Vampirella Dracula Unholy number two with COA, limited to 500. But we will take her hostage at the end. Man. <laughs> Another one with COA. Uh, this is a John Boy Myers cover. We only find them when they're dead. Number one. Limited to 500 on this one. John Boy Myers. We only find them when they're dead. That's a cool cover. This is a cool one too. I like this. Red Sonia number 27, uh, 500 print run with COA. <laughs> That's just straight up saying it like it is. Isn't that right? <laughs> I like the blood on that Red Sonia too. <laughs> <laughs> And we got the Poison Ivy 17 Virgin. Same cover as the Waffle. But this is just the regular old Virgin right there. 
Some great books in this lot. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start that timer. Given him multiple time or multiple, you know, well, giving you enough time to show off all your books and closely so everybody can see them, you know? Yes, Richard, if, uh, if you want priority, if you want first choice on the books, you can bid 13. Arrow's like, shut up, dude. Stop, Jones. He's like, I'm, I'm going to quit coming to your whatnot if you don't knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> you always have your whatnots in the morning, so it's like, I never am up that early. Because it's West Coast, you know, I, I don't get up until, you know, 10 if I don't have to. Oh shoot, I'm usually not even awake until afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Usually I'd be at work right now. I took the whole week off. Yeah, this is the first time I've streamed since Sunday, so I haven't really... I mean, I did some work here at the house, but not really uh, streaming or selling books the last few days. Right. And it sucks. Like I hate canceling my Thursday show on whatnot. It's my busiest show of the week. Um, but man, I was like, I, I can't do a stream where I'm coughing for three hours, dude. Like nobody wants right. to listen to that. Did you did you participate in the whatnot con, or did you sign up for the stuff? No, I got the email, but I, if I recall, I think I was like, nah, because they had all kinds of like weird rules and regulations for it. I was just like, yeah, fuck this. Gotcha. And it was really slow, like the first hour of the show today because of all the whatnot con shows, but uh, I did really well in the second hour. A lot of my regulars came in, so I, I did pretty well today. Good. All right, guys, we got about a minute left on the clock. Again, I'm being very lax with the timer, y'all, because there's only three sellers, and I want to give the other ones the opportunities to get the set up and stuff, so... A lot of these books in this lot, too, I don't have more than one of. Most of these, I only have the one that you see. Man. I think that, that caption's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> You have Batman that gives up and give the technology to Batman to you. Hmm. Hell no, he paid too much money for all that shit. Right? <laughs> He's like, I ain't giving that shit away. Right? Especially the Gotham PD. They're, they're happy. <laughs> Bunch of crooks. <laughs> right? All right, guys, that is the timer. I'm going to go ahead and drop the end line. Chris Arrow's in the lead for $12. So he has first dibs. On all these books that you see, anybody can put in their backup claims, but again, Chris Arrow has first claims. Don't forget, this is our buyer's giveaway for tonight. Batman he said, 142. Let's, let's build my team, F and G. All right. Hey, have you seen Hot Mustard Gas in the chat tonight? No. Yeah, yeah he was in earlier. <laughs> no, he? he's, okay. yes, he's here. Well, if you're still here, Hot Mustard Gas, make yourself known, because I have a question for you. Uh-oh. Boom. Nice. I kind of figured you would be grabbing those ones, Arrow. All right, and then Back we got Jay. Jay. He was here. He might be sleeping. Who knows? Yeah, I, I thought I'd seen him up there at the beginning, but I hadn't seen it in a while. I just wondered about some video game stuff, because I got that's one of the things I have a lot of is video games. That was the Poison Ivy one, correct? The J one? Yep. Okay. All right. Here's what we got left, guys. This one is unnamed number one, limited to 500 with COA. We only find them when they're dead. Number one, limited to 500 with COA, John Boy Myers. Red Sonia number 27, 500 print run uh, artist is Des Taylor on this one. These are set at 12 bucks gonna grab e very nice f is taken richard 
Na uh, yeah, Nakayama uh, ASM 22 color bleed black suit Spidey. Grim number six Jenny Frizen cover. Uh, Slumber number one. No COA on that one. It's a cool cover. You don't have a and second copy of F, do you? I don't he know said the, so you got multiples of. So. Yeah, but he said uh, most of these F are I single. don't. No. Um, the only thing. Yeah, I don't have the only thing in that whole lot, and I don't even know if I have any of these left. I know I've got trades, but I'm pretty limited on the virgins. So that uh, is the lot, guys. So if Richard wants it, he can have it, Chris Arrow says. So Richard, will you stand? stand? Yes, we got you, PSK. So Richard, if you do want F, please sound off. No, it's cool. You outbid me. Okay. All right. So there it is. All right. I will get everybody's name on the wheel for the buyer's giveaway that we're going to do at the end of the show. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, don't forget, if you guys get waffle spots, those count as purchases. That also gets you an opportunity to win the buyer's uh, giveaway foil. So keep that in mind. Thank you, guys. I will see you on my next turn. PSK, we got you on E. We got you. We got yep. you. He already claimed well, it. We got you, PSK. Yo. We got you. We got Boom. you. Boom. Boom. We got to do. We got to check. No, All right, hey, do you want to show up your waffle one more time? Uh, yep. The winner's choice waffle. <laughs> you guys seriously get in on these, please. Look at that green sig by Zerdy. So, so sick. nice. Let's sell this out tonight, y'all. And if you don't like that one, we've got the Zerdy Catwoman 47 signed down here on the bottom. So sick. Love them. Yeah. Those are the right, options. If you guys see those waffles right there, if we can get it to 50 likes, I'll give two spots away. Y'all yeah. heard it. Let's do it. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Moving on over to this bomb. What you got? Okay, so these are more $2 books that I'm going to be doing. Remember, this is a buyer's giveaway. I'll get you a little closer close up on it there. You got Oogie Boogie. Done by the one and only Soul Twice. The Halloween party. Boogie Boogie cover. So, right now we got a... Plum and PSK are the only ones in. But, we have the opportunity to change that. Um, okay, so here's a, a waffle that I'll do. I'm going to do this as a waffle. It's Marvel Age. Annual number four. It is a double cover. 9496. The outer cover is a 94. Inner covers 9-6. Uh, first appearance of damage control. And it's 20 spots at $5 a spot. And that's shipping and everything included. And uh, just something I grabbed. We'll see if anybody's into it or not. At 5 bucks a spot, that's not too bad. But you get a 9-6 double cover. So here's your $2 bucks. You got Aquaman number 8. You got a Batman 500. That's that weird where it's die cut and then it's foil underneath. And uh, we got uh, this is the Green Lantern Lantern Evil's Mighty. It's like a prestige format, yeah, Elseworld book. Mystique number eight, it looks like. Uh, Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man 11. Kazar, Lord of the Hidden Jungle, number 17. Here's a Morlocks one. And this is X-Men Alpha and Omega. Both of those are real nice. And then the Spider-Man number nine. All is right, that so came the spot? He wants a waffle spot, yes. And I'm going to okay. refresh really quick, guys, because my screen's all funky. So just a second. I'll be right back. Yes. One... I just wrote five dollars. Okay. Okay, let's see what else we got here. So Steven Spock wants your Morlock. Oh, oh, I have Oh wait, no, uh excuse me, I think you're hold on. EMGH your X Men. G H. Yep. And then Anthony Kirby wants the Morlocks. Correct, yes. I'm sorry, guys. This is a cool book. And if you really want to spend some real money, I found the gold variant to this book in a collection the other day. Near mint, perfect, gradable copy. 
if anybody's in, in, really interested in it, I'll show it. But it's uh, it's not a cheap book, and I was really, really surprised to find it. <laughs> okay, Stephen Scott, Anthony Kirby. Let's see. So we'll put this down in place of those. That's Avengers Forever number two. I didn't write down what. There's some key about that. Um, and then this is uh, Omega Flight number one, second printing with the Sasquatch. Uh, the Sasquatch. Let me write down. Uh, can you it, show? Um, I, I, show? I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to do it on the next round because it's in the other room now. But uh, what I is that? Evil's might. What is that scene? What is that? Like, have you read it? It's a, it's a prestige format Else World book. Uh, Green Lantern. You can see, like, it's a square bound. Oh, that's OG Green, Green Lantern. Okay. All right. Um, the epic drama in the Else World tradition is shaken. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, okay. it's, it's never been read before. It's like a perfect condition copy for two bucks. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty, number 13, variant cover. What's up, MT? Good to see ya. You bum? MT. MT. We got to do more. Number one. JR, JR, greatness. Look at all them chins. They're everywhere. Here's a uh, Hulk. This is volume two, number 44. That's a creepy-ass cover. Is that a Picasso? Wow. Is it Picasso? <laughs> wow. Yes. Oh my god, it is! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, this just went from a $2 book to a $200 book. <laughs> Did you want this book, Teresa? Uh, we'll yeah. Okay. Well, let's get I mean, married now. I, 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 I will, but I don't want to, like, claim. I don't want, you know, you know what I mean. I gotcha. Uh, so here's Mystique 21. Mayhew. We got some nice Mayhew that covers of Mystique. This is a. Uh, Number 20. She's saying, keep it on the low. That's uh, the Illuminati thing. Mm -hmm. Another Mayhew, number 19. Another, uh, wait, is this Greg Horn? This might be, I can't remember. No, this is another Mayhew cover. Number 18. I hope I'm showing them in the camera right, because I'm not used to having to look in the other direction. Uh, Kirby's going to take that Hulk look. Who is? Kirby. Andrew Kirby. Kirby. Okay. Um, this is number 16. Mystique number 16. He also wants your D, your Mystique. Which one? <laughs> uh, the one right next to the uh, green Green Lantern. Hey, the, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give yeah, you a hint. This is D. Yeah. He wa Kirby wants your D. Oh, the D. Okay, I see. And I'm gonna give you a hint. Take a take a sticky note and write the yeah. letters and put them yeah. off camera. Uh, PSK wants your J, which is the, yep, that one, and then your H, which is in the middle. This is J? No, that's H, and J is all the way to the far right. J. There you go. And then and the then one in the middle. H. Yep. Gotcha. Okay, here's another mystique. Number 12. Going back down here. Yeah, you're right. I got just enough room just underneath it where I could put something. Uh, here's a Spider-Man Final Adventure number three, the foil. Chaka. Let's see. Uh, here's a Captain America number one. Steve Rogers, Captain America number one. We've got the other Black Widow that's on there. Uh, let's see. Put down Kazar over here. Amazing Spider-Man 353. Uh, let's see. Nobody took that. There. All right. There. Hey, Anthony Cherry wants that Mystique on I. There you go. And okay. uh, Patrick Kelly wants your Mystique on H. H. And then Kirby's going to take your final adventure, Spider-Man, on G. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see, what else we got here? Here's a uh, Infinite Frontier number one, variant cover. It doesn't say who did it. DC is usually really good about saying who did their variants. Um, here's a Rebirth Suicide Squad number one. On there. 
Then on the madness, number two. Right there. And, oh, here's an Excalibur 46. I didn't write down why that's. I should do that on every single comic. Here's a Deathlock number one. I have a bunch of these Deathlock number ones that are in really nice shape. Anybody who wants to, like, corner the market? Here's a, here's a Kissy cover, number 30, X-Men number 30. Kissy yeah. covers. Got to get the Kissy covers. Um, here is a newsstand copy of Man of Steel 47. This is where Jonathan Kent and Perry Mason, is that his name? They team up to fight the Ku Klux Klan. Oh my God, that's an important comic book. Here, you're going on speed <laughs> Um, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Avengers number 55. Um, here. And number 54. This is a Kang cover. I think that's the only reason that it's in here. Okay, so Richard Johnson was asking what Excalibur is, and you just covered it with that Avengers book. Gotcha. This is uh, 46. So it is a very nice copy, high grade copy. Um, there's something key about it. I can't remember what it is. I, I don't, don't know. I don't know what. I don't know how he wrote it. Is what's Excalibur? Right. Oh. Saying Excalibur what? is the name of the sword that mighty King Arthur wielded. And it's also okay. the name of a, a, a X group. All right. There's and then, really quick, I'm going to interrupt you. What's on H, which is the Avengers with? They yeah, that one. This is number um, 54. But can you go over what you put under, what was under it too? Because. Yep. You also had uh, Infinite Frontier number one. And then you had Avengers Forever number two. All right, perfect. And then we have Avengers 77. And I know it says it's only 50 cents, but I'm charging two bucks for it. Let's see. I'll put that. I'll copy that. It's, in, it's inflation, guys. So. That's right. Here's uh, another with some kind of first appearance. Number 76, Avengers 76. Nobody wanted these mistakes, so they're getting covered up. Um, how much time do I have left? we got about a minute left. Okay, that's the age of Alpha. Age of X Men Alpha Number One. That's a newer book. It's never been read because I don't read. You, you can take ten minutes if you want. Well, no, I just wanted a little bit of time at the end because I'm gonna show some sealed VHS that I have in some movies to see if anybody's interested in. Here's Cage Number One from the Max Run. You see that? It's his gold teeth are glowing, and so is his ring. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Here's uh, week 23 of the 52. This is the first appearance of uh, his girlfriend or something, right? I don't know. And then DC things. Here's another copy of it. If two people want it, they can fight over them. This is Avengers No Surrender, number 678, the Hulk variant. Got about five seconds left if you guys want to get your claims in get them in now otherwise that timer is going off right now so i'm going to go ahead and drop that end line there she is so yeah if anybody's interested in movies like if you like movies i have a lot of sealed ones so you know they work like i got dvds i got the sealed director's cut of electra like wow. i like movies so i have a lot of them spider-man 2 the toby mcguire one sealed Avengers, Field. Here's the Star Wars Attack of the Clones and the uh, Phantom Menace. Both of those are still sealed. And then this is Batman Begins. Yeah. It's sealed. Like I'm selling these for like three to three bucks each for the for sealed DVDs. If anybody's interested in them, and then the have a, a lot of very random, very very random VHS. How much, that are sealed. How much was the Three dollars. 
He want, uh, Patrick Kelly would like the Electra. You got that. Steve Wagner, thank you for that super sticker. We appreciate you. And we're going to move it on over to okay. Kelsey. Why don't you put some um, uh, videos or some, yeah, DVDs in the, the buy it or, you know, show some the next round. Okay. You might. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey. All right, Cat 60, what you got for us, you bum? Hold on, I gotta find a place to put my beer. Hold my beer. All right. Demon Dreams of Dr. Drew, number one. <laughs> Demon Wars, number two, Trial by Fire. Demon Days, Rising Storm, number one. Probably a good book. Demon Days Blood Feud number one. Deja Thoris number six. Deja Thoris number six. Again, in case somebody wants a, wants one and somebody else does. Oh, that's dope. Deja, Deja Thoris number six. The cosplay. This is actually a good book. Devil Tree number one. Deep Dark, number one. Deep Beyond, number one. All right. Uh, Anthony Kirby wants your Deja Thoris on G. On um, G, which is the second one in on the left. There you go. And Patrick Kelly wants your Deep Dark. Debbie, number 11. Okay, Department of Truth, number four. What's the storyline on Beyond? Um, it's kind of like, uh, I, 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 I'm not sure. I, I don't know the story that well, but I think it's like a futuristic outer space or underwater it's an underwater adventure futuristic i think like water world I, yeah. no but it's yeah. it's all un, it's all underwater stuff see like they think there's an octopus or something and that's why they call it deep beyond it's probably that's a horror i have no idea dude I just remember. I just remember there was a Peach Momoko cover that was pretty dope. It's blasphemy to say that Waterworld was not created in a deluge, but covered by it. <laughs> Demonic number five. Demonic number six. Where's freaking hot mustard gas? Department of Truth number ten. Department of Truth number ten. Department of Truth number seven. Department of Truth number seven. With a cow. Weird. Department of Truth number 19. Department of Truth number 19. Am I really going to put this up? Department of Truth number 14. Holy fuck, I got a whole shell out of Department of Truth. No, no, you can't I know what I need to do. Nah, it's right. not a new box. This is old. This is old stuff, dude. Yes, I've had this. It's your Virgin J. <clears throat> the Department of Truth on your J, the far right, bottom right. Who wants this? Yeah, that, I think that's an exclusive. I'm not sure. All right. Fire Spain, new, new box cat. Oh, I don't. That, that was the only claim on that round there. All right. 
the Department of Truth. Uh, I guess nobody wants the Department of Truth. So we'll try Batman. Detective Comics 677. Detective Comics 878. Detective Comics 646. Detective Comics 6 or 873. I think that's eight. Detective Comics. Uh, hmm. I can't even tell what fucking issue this is. Oh, oh, this is Detective Comics Annual Number One. Detective Comics Annual Number Six. Uh, Detective Comics 648. Is that all I got? Oh, fuck. I ain't selling this one. I ain't selling that one. Ten, ten bucks for this one. Detective Comics 96. Um, this is uh, Squarebound. It's ten bucks for that one, though. Anybody want a Naked Bane? Where Batman's getting ready to give him a Hummer? Oh, uh, dang, it has to go up after midnight. Anybody want Detective Comics? How about a Colonel how about a Colonel Confession number number one? Isn't that a Kincaid? I don't know. I guess. Maybe. Sure. Sure. All right. PSK is going to take that. PSK is going to take that. That's cover by. Oh, I can't believe I fucking grabbed a whole stack of fucking Detective Comics. Oh, now I now I grabbed a whole stack of Superman. Man of Steel number one. Drop Dead Superman number 11. Superman Man of Steel number 2. Nobody wants Superman. Oh no, PSK wants Superman. I think he's going to claim all those Superman that you've already not acclaimed. Oh wait, no, he wants H. How much are you? don't want the Man of Steel? Well, dude, he, he's probably got them all. Well, I know. I'm sure he does, but. Oh, my round's going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just trying to go LA. You got about 30 seconds left. Oh, cool. So, fuck it. Here yeah. you go. Here you go. All of these books that are up here. All of them. There's freaking almost four deep in some spots. Uh, so we're <laughs> we're talking. Uh, there's probably thirty something books up here, easily, easily thirty something. There's five books in this in this pile. Four. Twenty-five bucks. Play them all. Woo! Play them all, guys. Twenty-five dollars. I don't want to put them back in the box. Come on, man. Be good to me. Show Cap some love. All right, guys. Come on. We all we all got twenty-five bucks in our pocket. Who's gonna claim it all? Let's do it, guys. Before I drop that in line. Hundred dollars, buy it now. This Ooh. is uh, this is second. This is second print. Hundred dollars, buy it now. You get Silk number one, and you get Amazing Spider-Man for second print, which is which uh, there's only like five thousand of these, which is super rare for a fucking print.
All right, so move on. All right, up in that end line, guys. There we go. Thank you, Cat60. All right, guys, we're going to move it on over, start our third round here. We're going to move it to Slim. What you got for us, Slim, you bum? <laughs> All right, don't forget, guys, this is our buyer's giveaway tonight. Beautiful, brand spangly new foily goodness, Batman 142. Tiago da Silva, <clears throat> limited to 800 copies with numbered COA. Every purchase you make, your name's going on the wheel for an opportunity to win that foil at the end of the show. You got to be in it to win it. We got the uh, winner's choice waffle going on. First choice, Catwoman number 47. Signed by Nathan Zerdy. Gorgeous slab right there. That is your first option. And if you don't like that one. Y'all remember, if we can get it to 50 likes, I'm giving two spots away for these waffles. So Yeah. And here is the other choice. Poison Ivy number 17. Signed by Nathan Zerdy in that awesome green sig right there. Very, very nice. Foily goodness right there. Those are the two options. Uh, 28 spots left. $5 a spot. If you win, you get your choice of the waffle. Excuse <clears throat> me. Also, if you, make a, if you purchase a waffle spot, that counts as a purchase towards the uh, buyer's giveaway foil as well. So, I mean, you could spend five bucks. You could win the foil and the slab for five bucks. It could happen. All right. Uh, these are some of the new books I picked up on Wednesday from the LCS. These are some of the bins that I have. Uh, new series right here. When the blood has dried, number one. That's the A cover. When the blood is dried, number one, A cover. Seven bucks. Or we've got the B cover, $7 as well. Hot mustard. Um, I think I've still got the B cover and issue number two, third print, I believe. I can get those out if you want to see them. Oh, I don't know. Hot mustard gonna bend the blood. Which one? This is the B cover, and this is the A cover. A cover. Perfect. A cover. Uh, let me grab those beneath the trees real quick. I'm surprised they even went that long. So, yes, yeah, so this is uh, number two, third print. Six bucks on that one. And this is uh, the brand new number five B cover for six bucks. So if you're interested in those, let me know. All right. Uh, Weapon X Men number two. Number one was a pretty popular book. A cover, six bucks. I'll take the newest one, whichever cover. Yes, this is the newest issue, came out Wednesday, number five, B cover, six bucks. Nice, yeah. So yes, Weapon X-Men, number two, A cover, six bucks. How about that brand new Ultimate X-Men, number two, B cover, seven dollars. These Ultimate books are so hot right now. <clears throat> I do have Ultimate X Men number one Momoko main cover, uh, nine eight hundred bucks, and I've got the one in ten uh, first print for nine eight for seventy five. Uh, this is the Momoko cover D, seven bucks on this one. Ultimate X Men number two. Uh, brand new Edge of Spider Verse number threes, a cover. Seven dollars. You like this one, cat? Look at that. It's got Web Weaver, Gay Spidey. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Gay Spider. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Just uh, please don't protect me. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your webs to yourself. B cover, seven bucks. This is an awesome cover. Is that homophobic? <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got some nice slabs. I've got quite a few. I've got 25 at CGC. Uh, they switched this morning from scheduled for grading to encapsulating and grading, uh, but it hasn't updated yet. I've got another 25 about to ship out to me. That should be uh, available tomorrow. Uh, Edge of Spider Verse, this is the D cover Momoko. Seven bucks. I swear, I think. It's almost like she just copied two covers, because look at this one. So that's the Edge of Spider-Verse number three, Momoko, and this is ASM 47, Momoko. Momoko. I mean... Has like, David Burr already little... picked these up? Yes, he did. Okay. I was going to say, I have I'm extras. surprised he's not claiming those. Yeah, I have extras. And we've got that uh, Star Wars style cover there. C cover seven bucks. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, I don't think I did, Marshall. Um, I don't. I, I I'd have to look in my uh, through my uh, my bins. I might still have some number ones. I had some uh, X Men ninety seven number twos available earlier tonight, Marshall. I think I've still got them, too, if you're interested in the number twos that just came out on Wednesday. All right. Winner's Choice, $12 start line. These are all exclusive Virgin variants. We are going to start off with that awesome cover on Venom number four. And we got that Virgin, showed the trade of this one earlier. There's that Edge of Spider-Verse, number one, Nathan Zerdy. First appearance of Weapon 8. I have this in a 9.8 slab as well, if anybody's interested. Arrow, are you still here? We got that Red Sonia Valentine special, 2022 500 print run with COA. Everybody wants to see your X Men number two, please, when you have a chance. And Chris Arrow is not here. All right. <laughs> yes, I will show those, David Brewer. Uh, 500 print run on this. This is a newer book Vampirella Dracula Rage number five. <clears throat> oh, Arrow is here. He said no. So that's why I was <laughs> Uh, we had the trade of this one earlier. Here's the Virgin, that uh, brand new ASM number 44, Ivan Tau. Where's Steven uh, Spock? Those kissing covers. Yeah. Carla Cohen, Harley Quinn, number 25. This one's always popular. Great cover. Popular with the guys. <laughs> Um, Delato, uh, Spider-Man number three. This one always does really well. Such a great cover on this one, too. And we got that brand new, uh, Rise of the Powers of X number two. Another brand new book right there. Gambit just chilling with the ladies. I think I put one of these up in an auction and it didn't sell, and I put it up on Whatnot, and I made quite well on it. So here's another chance, because it's the only one I got. Edge of Spider-Verse, number five, New York Comic Con 2022. Sick cover on this one. And we're going to wrap it up with that Dynamite Lives number, number two. 
350 print run on this one. Joel, are you looking on the website? I don't. I don't think I have any X Men ninety seven slabs. I might have the raw on number one. I'd have to look, and I know I have number twos because I just showed them earlier. What's up, Venomized? Happy Friday. Welcome in. Thanks for being here with us. Venomized, good to see you. He's in at $13 here, so. He wants uh, this one. New yeah. York Comic Con 2022, Edge of Spider Verse number five. Woo, that's a pretty cover right there. I thought for sure when I put it up on here on uh, Madhouse it would sell. I don't think it sold. Put it up on uh, Whatnot and people went crazy for it. And I was like, well, shit. Well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. Yes, David, I will show that right after the auction here. All right, we got about a minute and a half on the clock, guys. Get in here while you can. This one's limited to 500 copies on this one. Whale barb is worth seriously stupid money. Interesting. I did not know that. <laughs> Don't forget, this is our buyer's giveaway tonight. Tiago da Silva, beautiful foil, Batman 142. Limited to 800 copies, does come with a numbered COA. Copper tone homage cover. You gotta be in it to win it. All right, guys, 10 seconds on the clock. Get in there. Who's going to challenge Venomized for the lead here? Ooh, PSK's in at $14. That means that's going to reset that clock for um, 30 seconds here. 30 seconds. Ooh, Venomized is going to 15. That's going to reset that clock one more time. There we go. We got 30 seconds on the clock, guys. Venomized in at 15. I think he wants that black and white. Ooh, PSK is in at 16. That's going to reset that clock one more time. Arrows in the background going, what the fuck? I just want the red Sonya. Stop bidding it up. <laughs> <laughs> Venomized is back at 17. Resets that 30 second clock one more time. Fight video, you guys want a fight video? All right, I'll do a fight video. Here we go. This is, this, 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 I found this one. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 
All right, PSK folded, and there's the timer. We're going to go ahead and drop that end line. Looks like Venomize is going to take this for $17. So now Venomize has first choice, and everybody else can come in and do backups, guys. Ha, 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 ha. We all knew it. We called it. You wanted that eye. Oh, and the Delato. Nice. Yeah, that's a great cover. Delato hardly ever does bright colors like that, so that's yeah. a great one to pick up. Carrying Goblin's Mask. Yeah, so cool. Love that. So, one. so cool. Nice grabs. Here's what we got for the backups. The bar has been set at $17. That's a cool one. Is that like Black Cat, like what, what a hand or something? Oh no, that's Venom. Oh, never mind. Venom number four. I was looking at the top. Like it looked like it had like uh, Black Cat's like you know pearl necklace around his arm or something. Oh boy! Get your claims in, guys. All right. He said, geez, can you see, please? <laughs> He's like, you fucking assholes. <laughs> we knew. Steve, when you put those books in a lot, don't put a super awesome one in with them. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, damn it, Slim. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. I'll get everybody's name on the wheel. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I appreciate you, and I will see you on my uh, fourth and final turn when it comes back around. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you, Slim. Appreciate you. All right, guys, we are going to bring on a guest seller. He's never sold on the Madhouse before, so let's welcome in this lunatic really quick. Let's do... Uh... What is up, Kirby? Good to see ya. Not only have I not sold on Madhouse before, I've never sold before, so double first here. Uh, you guys can't hear me, right? We got I didn't you. test the mic out before. All right. So, uh, I'll get down. Thank you. All right, uh, I got a couple buy it now, and then I'll probably do a winner's choice auction. Um, All right. I have... Uh, for any DC fans out there, I have Swamp Thing 1 through 24, uh, decent shape. I'm willing to do 300 on that, which from what I remember and how much I paid for, it's a really good deal. Uh, if there's any interest, I can I can uh, browse through them for you and kind of show them off. I've got a couple slabs. Also going to do some bins on. Uh, I got a Rogan Gambit number one, the Alex Ross uh, nine eight. Uh, willing to part with that for thirty five. Oh wow! Uh, not 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 thirty five ship. That's a steal, guys. Thirty five bucks for a slab. And then, well, you know, there's a reason this is called the Mad Hub. Mm -hmm. For all the crazy. Um, and then I have a Thanos number 17 uh, and a 9-4 it's the Silver Surfer all well, that's showing up y'all can see that uh, I will also do that one for 35 uh, just, just for any any uh, toy fans out there I have a, a couple of Xenomorph toys this one comes with a dog and a face up. Uh, that is ten dollars, and then I have a very memeable alien here, Red Dino, regular drone Dino. Uh, he also comes with an egg pod and a face hugger. Uh, he will also be ten bucks. And then a couple of Superman. Action figure. 
God. I don't know which ones. And God took over making the toys for them or not. Uh, I will do that one for seven. And I have a fat man who laughs. Oh, wow. Uh, I will also do that one for seven. Nice. Then, I'm pretty sure these are books that I've gotten from Slim in the past, so I know for my winner's choice, it's it's going to be good. Uh, let me check chat. I haven't been looking. Somewhere. Oh, if you got them from me, they're dope. Don't sleep on these books, guys. I don't even know what they are, but I know they're good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was looking through it, and I'm like, yeah, these are these are probably Slim books I got. Oh, I know someone will love that one. Let me pull out some of them and we'll start. So... We, we will do some shenanigans. Oh, we boy. All right. A $1 start line. I might regret some of that just looking through the... Oh. You're talking about shenanigans, right? There we go. All right. Shenanigans, guys. So, first up, we have a Wildcats number one. Go ahead and close comments so I can see... I'm on camera. So I have Wildcats number one. I have Jin number one. Trust me, they, they get a little bit better from there. Uh, Spider Man, I want to say number four, Farlin Run. Uh, and Spider Man number two <laughs> with the Lizard Bubble. Also in the McFarland run. Here's American Jesus. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, here's... I, I, I kind of hope this one doesn't sell, because I didn't realize it was in here, but a Cyber Frog number two. Ooh! Older, older comic. And then we have June 2099 AD. This, this is what looks like a textured cover and a uh, hollow -y as well. Doing oh. sitting on, not rushing there. Mm -hmm. Alright, I don't have better lighting right now. We have Emma Frost, number one variant. Nice. Justice League, Five with Lives, number two, or Justice League in International Annual, number two. Joker over there. Which, right, the place. That's like, got a Howard the Delt. What number is that? Number, number 16. Howard the Duck, number 16, guys. Only a dollar. I got Superman Action Comics. Uh, the joke's on you. Joker. Superman. Kind of terrifying to me. Such a great <laughs> cover. Evo, number three of three. Spider-Man Web of Doom number one. And then Doom 2099. Number three. Sorry. That, that'll be my. I probably did too many for that, but. That's all right. We've got Gotham Street one. Shop in at a dollar. Who else is going to get in on these guys? So start flipping through them, Kirby. Um, yep. June 2099. Number three. Spider Man Web of Doom. Number one. Evo. Number three. Superman number 714. 
jokes on you. Howard the Duck, number 16. Justice League International, annual number two. Emma Frost, X-Men Black, number one. Spider-Man, number four. Spider-Man number two of the Torment Part 2 of 5. No, we have American Jesus. What number is that American Jesus? Uh, give me one second. It's issue number one. Oh, there you go. Issue number one. At the very bottom. Yeah, well, you can. I've never seen that book before, ever. <laughs> Ride the Frog number two. Mount Rushmore cover. Jin number one. Wildcats number one. Wildcats, Wildcats, Rawr! All right, guys, we've got about a minute and a half left on the clock. Is anybody going to challenge Gotham Street Shop? One dollar. This is Anthony Kirby's debut, so let's show some, some support, guys. Get in on this. Yeah, there's definitely a couple books in there that are worth a bit more than a dollar. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I felt that, too, when I was looking through that. I mean, Howard the Duck 16 is like the second appearance of Dr. Bong. Get to see the inside of Dr. Bong's castle and learn all about the origin of Dr. Bong. And... It's an awesome name. <laughs> Good stuff going on, guys. Get in on this. Don't sleep. All right, we got about 10 seconds left, guys. Is anybody going to challenge Gotham? I'm sure that he's going to take all of them for that price at a dollar each. Like, yeah, just take them all. <laughs> All right. Anybody with a comic to back up, I, you know, don't be sleeping on it, man. There yeah, is the timer. I wouldn't expect him to not take them all. <laughs> There's the end line. All right, so Gotham Street Shop, what are you going to do? Mm. Patrick Kelly is asking if you can show the toys again, the uh, yeah. Superman and the Batman who laughs one more time. Yep. It is so cool to see Anthony Kirby, absolutely. So, so those are each seven dollars. Patrick Kelly is what he said. If you're interested, and Gotham Street Shop's going to take all of those. Weird. All oh, of those. those are those are like the the new generation, aren't they? I think they're uh, yeah, the remake. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say because he said Batman who laughs, and I'm like, those yeah, are these... superpowers. So why would there be a Batman? <laughs> Yeah, these are these are uh, when uh, McFarland took over toy making. Gotcha. And when McFarland to us. There was no Batman who laughed. They, they, they very intelligently gave control of their toys to Todd McFarland, who did pretty well for himself. So. All right, Patrick Kelly would like both of those from you. Look it up. All right. Got nice street. pickup. Good job. All right. We're going to move it on over to the next guy. Barb, what you got for us? You okay. So, so I bet I missed Anthony Kirby. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you, you should did. pay attention. Yeah. I do pay attention. Not. I saw you. You were not paying enough. attention. Not enough. <laughs> All right. 
So, hey, if MT is still in here, this is the gold variant that I was talking about. This is Steven Spock's silver one. So you see how this one's gold and that one's silver. This one was a retailer incentive. And I don't know how many you had to buy because they printed this thing in the millions, you know. But retailers didn't get a whole lot of them. So if you're interested in this, you can message me. But I've done my research on it. It's near mint or better. And uh, I was asking 100 bucks for it. Can but you can, can you do a spine slide on that, please? I can try. It's at a weird angle. It's all it's a it's lenticular. If I hit my camera and knock it down, I'm yelling at you. Just so yeah, you know. Yeah, do that. MT is going to ask for it anyway. So come up a little bit. Come the, come the other way. I'm look. I'm, I'm trying to look. There you things. go. Yeah, it's a lenticular. Like so, it's a plastic cover. There's no spine ticks on it. There's not a, a, yeah, I, this is a pain in the ass. I'm sorry. If MT wants a better spine slide, then he can message me. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's, it's, like I said, near men are better. I grade all my comics that are worth anything, so. Here you go, I'll put Steven Spock's book there. I had to compare it with it. And yes, Hot Mustard Gas, I grabbed a whole bunch of Xbox 360 games. Um. I'll do those on our last, this isn't our last round, right? We got one more. No, no. Okay, so my last round, I'll do a bunch of weird shit. I got some cards and I got some VHS that are sealed. And, but this one will just be comics, make it easy. Yeah, did you say, did you say lenticular because it's chromium? No, it's not. It's an acetate cover wow. with a chromium backer, backer on it. So yeah. Chromium. I said it was a plastic cover. Did I say acetate or lenticular? Well, no. You you, you said, said you said it was oh. lenticular. It's not lenticular. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's we a variant. Is, we know this is your first time, so. Chromium, acetate, plastic cover with two staples. No more. So you got an X Men number forty one. First appearance of somebody that I don't know. This is Jack Kirby. Kirby Secret City Saga number four, sealed with the card and everything in it. Uh, Avengers number four, Avengers number one, Avengers number 65, FF 392. That's the first appearance of Doom's like daughter or some shit like that, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's not Doom, but I think it is. Uh, Avengers Forever 4, second print. Hulk 4, second print. And then these are both uh, Batman black and white number two. You got the A and B cover. Okay, Street Shop is wanting F and G. So I put I put letters down so I can see. It's gonna make it so much easier. You guys are so smart. <laughs> okay, so I got another Avenger 62. And this is the Avengers case book 1999. It is the compendium, an A through Z compendium of Earth's Mightiest Heroes. So if you ever wanted to know something about an Avenger, that's the book for you. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Let's see, uh, I'll throw up this uh, Excalibur number 31. It has some first appearance in it. I can't remember what it is either. I'm really bad about that. There's a Shang-Chi number one variant. I don't know. You wouldn't call that a negative space. He's just standing in a shadow. And that's, is that uh, a Del Hucky. Oh, in Huck is it really? In Huck Lee. Wow. Yuck. Yuck. Uh, here's Abbott, 1973, number one. Unread. Near man. Hey, since everybody was going crazy for Department of Truth, here's a Department of Truth, number 15. It's a variant. Why would you? Why would you do that? Because it was the next one in the box that I grabbed. <laughs> I don't put them in order. It's Draculina number one. I'm gonna do something oh, even worse on my next round. <laughs> well, you got Draculina number one in here. Uh, here's Captain America forty. Nice patriotic American flag cover. All right, Patrick yeah. Kelly's going to take your your Draculina. Dracula, okay, I gotcha. Uh, Captain America twenty eight. This is from volume two. 
Uh, so is this other one. I got your PS8. What's up, Mary, you bum? Let's see. So on that spot, we'll go ahead and put this. Uh, why do I have cable in here? It's cable 88. So I, I don't know if this is some kind of key or something, but nobody buys cable. <laughs> I don't know why it's in there. There's another cable. I'm not putting it. I'm just going to buy a cable. Uh, 52 week 21. Nice reflection cover. I don't know what's key about that either. Maybe it's the Infinity Ink. Uh, here's a Suicide Squad number one. Infinite Frontier Suicide Squad number one. There's a Batman, a Superman Batman number one. That's a Michael Turner, isn't it? No, I think it's Townsend, maybe. Did Townsend work with them? Mm. It's not Turner. I don't, I don't see it signed anywhere. And I'm not super uh, up on my DC artists. It's not Jim Lee. Uh, here's a great book. Firestorm, the Nuclear Man, number six. This has got the preview for Masters of the Universe in it. And this is a really nice newsstand copy for two bucks. I can't believe that I haven't sold that yet for $2. Right, Kelly's going to take your F. Yeah, Superman, Batman, gotcha. Okay, I'll put this uh, Wonder Woman, sensational Wonder Woman number seven in that place. Because it's sensational. And we got Marvel 8's number four. This is a, a cover swipe of the death of Captain America, in case you didn't know that. Pretty awesome. Um, here is an older book. It's uh, Moonstone. A Marvel Classic Comics number 23. Moonstone. Nice copy. Everybody knows the moon's made of cream cheese. So. Never this <laughs> There are no stones there. Dark Old One, Newsstand, I grade. If anybody has any uh, Midnight Suns Newsstands that are polybag, hit me up because I'm trying to finish the run on all Newsstand. Here's uh, Amazing Spider-Man, Hit and Run, number three. This is a Jim Craig cover. In case you didn't know that. can't believe nobody took Cable. Wait, let me come over here. Here's a uh, Profit, number one. Gable? Look at this. This is how you know for sure it's light filled. Do you see a there's, lip on the front? There's no feet either. <laughs> there's no, yeah, there's definitely no feet. And he has no upper lip. He's even the, you remember, uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, the Fire Marshal Bill? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Here's the 100 Penny Press number one for a Rocketeer. Dave Stevens. Two bucks. For some Dave Stevens. Two dollars for Dave Stevens, guys. Dang. Know your station number one on red. That's a newer book. Uh, this is a virgin variant of the Pink Ranger. <laughs> Did I write it on here? No, I didn't write on it what it is. But uh, yeah, it's one of those Power Ranger books. All right. PSK is going to take Know Your Station. Okay. And he's going to take your Power Rangers. Go, go, Power P, blah, blah. <laughs> go, go, Patrick Kelly. <laughs> oh, God. There's a Morbius Living Vampire 15. And the Human Fly number 9. <laughs> These are really nice copies. Or, you know, like for the age, that's a really nice book. That's the only reason I'm asking that much. Uh, Master of Kung Fu 61. This one's a little bit on the war side, but it, it's the first appearance of this dude. Skull Crusher. First appearance of Skull Crusher. Here's oh, a, God. I got, I got, I got, I got something for that. Hold on. Before you start showing, I got, I got something for that. Hold on. Skull Crusher? It looks like a no-brainer. What does that mean? No-brain. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That was gross. I know. Uh, Adventure of Superman 500 newsstand. EF Mirror copy. Well, that's a nice copy. I can't believe nobody wants the Firestorm Nuclear Man. 
preview of Masters of the Universe. Before Masters of the Universe, this was out. I can't believe it. I'm on, I'm shocked. There's a Bloodlines uh, Justice League Annual Four. It also has some first appearance of some DC person that I will never remember. Ah. Yeah. Number thirty-nine. <laughs> some knock whoppers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a JLA Incarnations number one. Generation gap. PSK is going to take your power girl. Go, go, PSK. <laughs> go, go, Patrick Kelly. JLA, Our World at War number one. Bam. There's a House of Slaughter number one. In case you missed it. There's a left. He's going to take that JLA, too. I gotcha. Here's an ash can for Horus, Lord of Light. This is from Image. Can you believe that? Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Stop looking at me, Schwan. <laughs> this, is a, this is a prestige format of Mage Collected Editions, book number two. Um, it's a really nice copy. Um, for two dollars, yeah, and then here's a uh, number book number one. In case you want to, I'll put it right underneath it so you can claim A and uh, C and H if you want them both. Uh, here is a secret city saga number zero. This one's not sealed in the oh, all the right, there. that was the end line. Oh. Okay, well, here's a lost in space. Nobody wants that either. Um, so that's a cool book, and it's a witness. I hope you're still here. These are all the Xbox 360 games. I just grabbed like a handful. <sighs> so I'm going to show those, and I'll show uh, your nipples. <laughs> I'll show Please. this random stack of sealed VHS. Yes. And. I'll show this box that is full to the rim with sealed cards from the 90s and sets. Comic cards and stuff like that. Got oh, tons of cards. Where'd you steal those from? Right. I keep them from the 7 Eleven when I was a kid and I had to hide them in the attic from my mom so that she would know that I was a little crypto and now I still got them sealed so they're worth money. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> all right all right barb you ready here's a blast from the past okay <laughs> <laughs> remember those days oh yeah yeah we need to bring that shit back <laughs> i know dude where where the fuck is parker He's around. I, I tried. I asked him not too long ago if he wanted to do a show and sell with me one night. He has a different job now, and things are different in his life. So, what do you? I don't think he's quite able. I'll get him one day, though. What was he? What, what was he comedy. doing? Was he? Was he like working at a bowling alley or something? He was working at a bowling alley bar, and uh, the bowling alley got sold. The people that bought it weren't interested in having a bowling alley. <laughs> and, 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 and dude, Tricky's so fucking hard to talk to. I miss that dude. I ain't seen yeah. him in a long time. Yeah, man. All right, so nobody wanted to buy these on the claims, but I'm gonna put these up because these are pretty dope. Um, and I'm gonna start them at a dollar. I don't care. If somebody buys them for a dollar. Congratulations. Department of Truth number four. Hold on, hold on. Everybody grab a broom. It's shenanigans. I'm going to have to get this real close because they always write these numbers real small. Number seven. Number seven. That's a Scotty uh, Young. Number ten. This isn't Scotty Young. Oh, it's the number nine. Never mind. Yeah. My bad. Number eleven. 
number 11, I think. No, number 10. Oops, I missed one. Number 10. Uh, this is, this one I think is number 11. Yep, 11. Um, number 12. Number 14. Number 19. And we're back to four. So All 11 right. books, it's at 10 bucks. You're not even at a dollar a book. Right. And these are Department of Truths. All right, guys. Who's going to challenge hot mustard gas? Probably nobody. <laughs> TSK was like, I'll buy that for a dollar. So I've had these since I um, started buying comics from Diamond. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they're store stock. These Unread. are store stock. Yeah. That means they're still in minty condition. They've they've been in bags. They've never not been in bags since I got them. So. There you go. There's no Cheetos fingerprints on them. There's uh, nobody's been sneezing on them. They're wiping a, their shirt sleeve on them. All right. Stop something. Licking. Stop licking my boner. <laughs> <laughs> we know that's we know that's directed towards you, Cat. <laughs> <laughs> is that what that is? Or stop punging my boner? I was just going to say, I think stop punging is your boner. I like that better. Stop punging my boner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, do it. Do it. All right. Don't don't take a black light to these. Oh my god. You guys are sleeping. Cuz you got to remember like a lot of this was during COVID. Oh, who's doing that? Not me. I'm not doing that. Sorry, guys. Um, oh, fucking Spooky's here, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Spooky's, Spooky's a cock, just to let you know. <laughs> Spooky, stop tonguing my boner. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Uh, all right, guys, since we were in the last 30 seconds, we are going to run a 30 second timer. That was. Is he is he here? I saw he was here before. No, no, he's not. He's not in the background. So I don't know. So. All right. Well, then it had to be you because you're the only one. I must have accidentally hit it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. I blame right. it on Spooky. All right. We're going to go into overtime. Here we go. Boy. That escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? All right. That was probably the ending one, but that's all right. We'll 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 keep it going. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to play some videos for you to make it fun. Here you go. Don't know what it is, but it's blue book number one. Ooh, Patrick I'm Kelly. Gonna kind of I'm going to kind of assume that this is maybe oh, a UFO. Oh, yeah. You know what this is? That's the couple that... The couple that came out and um, were kidnapped by aliens. So this is Project Blue Book number one. Um, I'll toss this in for another five bucks. Where are we at? 20, 20 bucks. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Guys. This 20 comes bucks. in. Project Blue Book. What were they called? The Allens or something? The couple that got were one of the first uh, abducted. Um, yeah. That's a dope book. I didn't even realize what it was until I started. I put Showing blue book and looked at it. I'm All right, we're, we're conspiracy buff. Hold the PSK. Oh my goodness, y'all! For twenty bucks. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that M line. Looks like PSK is gonna steal this one for twenty dollars. Steal, steal. PSK is yours. There it is. All right. 
All right, guys, we're going to go into the last round of Slim's thing. Maybe we'll do another round after that. We'll see. So, but this is going to be Slim's last round. So, thank you, Cat. Appreciate you. No, no, no. Thank you. All right, last chance to get in on that buyer's giveaway, guys. Every purchase you make, your name is going to go on the wheel for an opportunity to win this absolutely beautiful Tiago de Silva foil, Batman 142, Copper Tone Homage, limited to 800 with numbered COA. That's our buyer's giveaway tonight. Did Anthony Kirby leave? Uh, no, he's... he's yeah. <coughs> He'll be back. This is our... Uh, we're doing a winner's choice waffle. Nathan Zerdes, Poison Ivy, number 17. Got that green sig on there. Absolutely beautiful foil right there. That's one of your choices. And if you don't like that one, we've got the Nathan Zerdes signed Catwoman, number 47, with the tricolor sig on this one. Brand. Those are your options. $5 a spot. We started off with 40 spots. We have 28 left, I believe. $5 a spot. It only takes one to win, guys. You guys get it to 50 likes y'all heard me i was going to give away two spots but we got to get there guys uh david brewer are you still here i only have the a cover the b cover got taken the b cover was uh david mack that one got taken in the first round oh yeah uh, but i've still got the a cover right here if you are interested let me know asking six bucks on that one some more goodies that I picked up at the LCS on Wednesday. How about that uh, Labyrinth, number set, uh, number one, seven bucks. He's going to take right. it. Man, that brings back some memory, though. Yeah, good old reprint goodness right there. Seven bucks on that one. Crazy. I uh, got that Ultimate Black Panther. Um, this is number one, third printing. Eight bucks. Ooh, that's a peach, isn't it? Uh, I don't think this one's a peach. Yes, it is. Did I show you this one, Brewer? That's really cool. Yeah, you better grab it quick if I didn't put this one up for you, buddy. Eight bucks on that one. Um, I've been hearing this is actually pretty good. Uh, Uncanny Valley, number one, the A cover. Do you need it, David Brewer? Eight bucks right there for you. I'll All take right. it. Yeah, Uncanny Valley, number one, premier issue, A cover, seven bucks. The Momoko ASM 47. seven dollars how about that uh suicide squad dream team number two b cover seven bucks i have a towel very nice spot his nose anywhere yeah <laughs> uh let's see ultimate spider-man number one fourth printing we got you david Eight bucks. That book is still running hot. Hercules, Hercules. Eight cover, seven bucks. Oh, I'm a little baby Hercules. So cool to break see this call coming back. And how about that Rat City number one A cover for six bucks? Ooh, look at that spawn homage. He's the new spawn. Is he? Rat City number one A cover That's six kind months. Of futuristic spawn. That's yeah. His first appearance too. Ah, crazy. That's a key then. There you go. Let's go. All right. Winner's choice. Twelve dollars start line. Oh, the Rat City. Gonna take your... Here. Well, all that. Got it. We're going to start off with that Vampirella Dead Flowers number one. Where's, where's Chris Arrow? Yeah. Yeah, I think you might already have this one. This isn't a newer one. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Oh. 
Oh, Miles yeah. Morales, Spider Man. Uh, this is number four or five. I think it's number four. Tyler Kirkham cover. Number four. Five yep. thousand. You're bidding five thousand. <laughs> Nathan's Comics Planet Garcia. <laughs> Comics Planet. How are you tonight? Hope you're doing well. We got that Ejiker cover on ASM number 42. I just picked up that pop of the Spider Man duck buggy. Oh, nice. Mm hmm. ASM number five. I think that's a Rico cover. I don't see a SIG on it, but it looks like a Rico cover. Uh, absolutely love this one. ASM number 28. Ooh. Is that a Sabine? Um, LW? Hmm. Did she get the girl the cheeseburger variant? Red Sonia number one. It's that Carla Cohen, uh, black and white color splash cover. We got that Derek Chu, brand new X-Men number four facsimile. We got some more Rico goodness right here on ASM number 12. Peach, Momoko, Scarlet Witch, and Quicksilver number one. So cool. And we're going to finish it off with that brand spangly new Ivan Talavera Harley Quinn number 36. Talavera is so good. Mm hmm. That is the lot. $12 start line, folks. Last opportunity to get on that wheel for that beautiful Batman 142 foil buyers, buyers giveaway. Such you got to be in it to win it. That's right. All right, guys. The timer has started. Let's go. Get in on this. $12 goodness right here. Slim's got some great books right here. Yes, Brewer got that uh, Momoko Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver 9-8 slab from me. Nice. He's a lucky SOB. Uh, hot Mustard. I was actually going to bring that up tonight. Uh, yeah, I binged the whole thing yesterday. <laughs> Fucking good. I watched I all it. eight episodes. And it is good so far. Yeah, it's a lot of people are like, a lot of people are saying it's the best game adaptation show thus far, even better than uh, Last of Us. Really? Yeah, it's so good. They did a really good job with it. What is it on? Uh, Amazon. Okay. So they've got the boys. Is this thing on? <laughs> oh. Guys, I don't think I'm going to make it through the, the next round. I'm freaking yeah, dead. I'm, I'm struggling right now. Thankfully, I'm going to get everything put away in between rounds and get the wheel generated and... Whew. D. What is D? Well, I don't know. If we need to uh, ASM that. number five. Yeah, I never actually played the Fallout games myself. My old roommate used to, and uh, I'd get all super baked watching him, and I enjoyed watching it. So I'm not a big gamer, but I have played the Fallout games, and you get so sucked into it like oh yeah you're like i got an hour to kill i'll play it next thing you know it's like four in the morning yeah <laughs> you've really only gone like two places yep and like but they're so fun yeah the show is really good hmm. yeah all right guys get in on this we got about a minute and a half left because my didn't hit the start so i thought i, I literally did. burned my uh 
Fallout New Vegas and my Fallout 3 discs. Like, I played it so much that it, like, wore a groove in it. They wouldn't play no more, and I had to buy new ones. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Well, you're not supposed to put them on record players, dude. No, no. <laughs> I, was, I put it on my on my player player. Player? What's up, player? I put player? it on my player. I put player it on my player. No, I guess the, the it had some dust or something had gotten in on it or something like that. Totally ruined them. I had to go buy new ones. Oh, like dead, oh. dead, dead. I'm not even looking for books. Got nothing to sell. <laughs> sell your soul. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start playing video games, and for my round, you can watch me play video games. I was thinking about playing guitar for my last round. We got, we got, we can make this our last round if y'all want to. Come on, let's go. I don't care. I thought this was our yeah, last I got, round. I got stuff for days to sell. Cast the one being a little winner. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm such a pussy. You are. I know. Little kitty, kitty. I know. <laughs> I did a, I did a my one hot trick for three hours. And dry. Yeah, hot mustard gas. I, I've never played number four, so I was psyched that he hooked me up with that. Like, and I can play it on my uh, my Xbox One, so I'm pretty stoked on that. I was gonna hook it up tonight, and then I was like, no, nah, I'll see if I can sell. <laughs> All right, guys. I did there's a uh, whatnot show for games. three hours today, and then uh, I had to pack up 25 packages after the show. And then I had to bag and board 200 books, and I finished right when it was time to set up for this show. So <laughs> I'm I'm done. Yep. I'm gonna crash. All right. Well, I dropped the end line. The timer did go off. All right. No so, love on that. Off. If you That's guys. That's all right. Um, how many spots do you have available on the line? Twenty-eight That's left right now. Venomized. Twenty-eight left. You guys get in, get in on that, really, seriously. And like I said, if you, you guys hit that like button, I'll give away two spots. Um, so, and that is the buyer's giving. If you buy a waffle spot, you get on the wheel for that as well. Venomized wants five spots. Perfect. Thank you so much, Venomized. Appreciate you. All right, there's 23 left. Who's going to buy some more, guys? Let's do this. Let's get rid of some Zerdy covers. Those are some sick Zerdy covers, too. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Slim. Thank you, we thank you. I'll see you on the goodbye for me, and okay. I'll uh, spin that buyer's giveaway wheel. Thank you, guys. All right, thanks. All right, let's jump on over to Kirby. Kirby, we're ready for you. Howdy, howdy, howdy everybody. I took it good. I thought I almost un I didn't unmute. <laughs> so I have a better lighting. Uh, I have a couple more slabs uh, willing to throw up. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit more than my moderately priced ones. I have a Batman uh, Brave and the Bold, number 120, and a 6.5. This will be $75. Uh, I have a Uncanny X-Men number 193 uh, in a 9-4. Uh, that one will go for 50 if anybody is interested in that. Uh, for, yeah. Uh, I also still have those Xenomorph toys from earlier, if anybody was wanting one, I have a red drone and the runner Zeno with a dog included. I uh, so. uh, believe I said that was ten dollars. Yep. Uh, and then for my uh, round. I'm probably going to do another winner's choice. Uh, I I might I might start this one at two dollars instead of one. Uh, everybody can hear me good, right? Yep. Yep. Five by five. 
Five by five. Thank you. I understand that reference. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> All right. So we have a Punisher in the blood, uh, number one of five, limited series. And my camera fell. Yay. Camera down. I thought, I thought the camper flipped. <laughs> Who's driving the bus? Oh, I fell again. <laughs> two for two. I, I want to point this, out. This, can we get a set there, D? It, it sat there for the entire round last time and didn't fall once. <laughs> and not only did it fall once, it fell twice. Here we go for a hat trick. If the campers are rocking, don't come to knocking. I guess it was. I guess it was trying to make up for it. So now, a Catwoman number six from the new Fifty Two. Uh, Carnage, black, white, and blood. Number two, a, the Scorched, number one, Dominic. Roulette, six, 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 number one, uh, I have the Totally Awesome Hulk, uh, Number four, you like that green dick? I did. I did not. Uh, <laughs> I don't have anything covered. That was a bondage cover for sure. <laughs> yeah, but it looked like Hulk was bondage. Number <laughs> You know, the matter he gets, the bigger. <laughs> So she just pisses I have a them off. Superman Doomed, number one. Oh, well, that's cool. Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, number three. Next time, I will better screen my boxes. No, I can't. I can't get that one away. My mom would kill me. Uh, Emma Frost, number seven. Nice, Greg. This Owen. one physically paint that it was in the box. I love my Emma. Uh, I have a Vampirella number two. A Spider Gwen Ghost Spider number six. Oh, I imagine you're a pretty good Punchline number one. Thick comic it feels thicker than the other comics. A Venom number four and a Taylor Swift number 36. Oh wow, I don't think I've ever seen that cover. That's Sinkevich, right? Uh, it be down the side when it goes the bottom. I can't really tell. Yeah, I can't really. I know he did a lot of those covers, not just the ones like where you can really tell it's McGavish, but he did a lot of like <laughs> classic comic art type covers. For some reason, she's fighting the sewer zombie. Nice. Well, that might be one of the last last Dazzler books. So, last in the run. But, all right, we got hot mustard gas in at $2. Is anybody else going to challenge him for winner's choice here in this lot? Kirby, run through them again. Yep. All right, so we have Catwoman, number six. Scorched, number one. Number one. These comics are all under cover price, people. Got the yep. Punisher 105 limited series. Yeah, see, that's a dope book right this there. This doesn't have any uh -huh. tape on it. The Totally Awesome Hulk. 
Hulk and Lady Hellbender sitting in a tree. K I S S I N D. <laughs> Carnage, black, white, and gold. Number two. Roulette, six, 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 that. number one. Gen 13, number six. No, it's not 50 Punch ship. Punchline number Four one. Pass. You what? Uh, Warpath is asking if your X Men 193 and 94 is 50 ship. Uh, I said what, like 50, 50 on that? Yeah, you said 50 on it. Probably not shipped. Uh, yeah. If you want it sent in media uh, mail, <laughs> uh, you can just fighter right on the, on the slab. Ship it media mail. <laughs> Vampirella number two. It's Emma Frost with Pain Paint. I didn't see her in there it's too late. Superman Doom number one, one shot. Deadpool Max. We got about 20 seconds left, guys, on the timer. Venom number four. We have Carnage, Black, White, and Blood number three. Or, num yeah, number three. And then Dazzler. 36. Not in the greatest of shapes, but actually not horrible, actually. That's, that's nice. Very All little right. color break on this. For some reason, my volume turned down. Oh, Patrick Kelly's in it for three dollars, so that's going to reset that timer. We got thirty-second timer now. Here we go. Here we go. Start that timer. We are in overtime. That's crazy. The lag between the streamyard and the actual show. Yeah. You said that way before I saw it. Hot mustard gas is back, so here we go. Round one! Let's work! I love that video for some reason. <laughs> Spider-Man. Right. Right, we got about 15 seconds left. Y'all get in here. If if you're going to challenge uh, Hot Mustard Gas, we're at $4 a piece here. You must have looked up that Punisher book. All right. That timer has expired. I'm going to go ahead and drop that end line. All right, Hawk Mustard Gas gets first dibs. <laughs> yeah, I have that same Punisher book in one of my my claim sales. I think I had it at five bucks because it's not a dollar book one, one bit. That whole run is just like all those covers are awesome. I'm trying to remember who does the covers. I can't remember. It's not Del Auto. Um, yeah, I can't remember who does it. All right, so Hot Mustard's going to take your Punisher, both your Carnages, okay. your Roulette, and your Deadpool. Yeah. I think it's Route 666. Okay. Yeah, the Route 666, both Carnages and what? Um, Your Punisher and your Deadpool. Oh, the Deadpool. Okay. And then PSK is going to take your punchline and your vampirella. Make sure I got the first one right. We have Deadpool, Carnage number three, Black, White, and Blood number three, 
Carnage, Black, White, and Blood number two. Group 66 and The Punisher limited series. All right. Do you want to flip through the other books that you have left to show and everybody else if they want to get in? And then here we go. We have a Gen 13. Yeah, Capullo. There you go. He knew it. That's so I was totally awesome. Drawing a blank. Surprised nobody's taken that Sword. bonded Hulk. Hey, before you get off, you should show those slabs that you had again. Okay. Uh, Catwoman, number six. We have Ghost Spider, number six. Emma Frost, number seven. Superman Doomed, number one, one shot. We have uh, Venom, number four. Uh, and Taylor Swift, number 36. What's up, Chad? Anyone wrong? that may want one of those. And then two slabs. We have the Uncanny X Men. This is a John Romita Jr. cover. Okay, that's the first Firestar in continuity. Uh, it's the first appearance of the Hellions. Warpath dons a new costume, and it's anniversary issue. New Mutants and Morlock appearance. Yeah. All new, all different X-Men. And then I had the Batman Brave and the Bold Giant in a 9, or in a 6-5. Uh, it was 75. Nice. Uh, Batman and Catman do. Cat, it's Catman. Catman do, Cat. Oh, Catman, uh, Commandy. Commandy, the last boy on Earth. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're interested, hit his Instagram is scrolling down in the bottom here, so uh, hit him up, make him an offer. He can't refuse, guys. So thank you, Anthony Kirby. We appreciate, appreciate it, everyone. You so. I'm, I'm probably going to be dropping. I'm going to say my buys now. I got to uh, head out for a little while. Uh, right. Thank you, everyone who bought from me. Uh, I will be hitting you up on Instagram if you don't manage to hit me up first. Pretty sure I've bought from most everyone that bought from me already. Heck yeah. um, all right. Thank you all so much for letting me be on here. And I hope you guys have a good night. I'll be in chat. I just I got to not be here. Sounds good. Thank you, Anthony. We appreciate you. Good job. Thank you. All right. We're going to move on over to Barb, guys. Okay. I just remembered something cool about this giveaway, but it's hard. you can't see it because it's too bright in here. It glows it's in the dark. dark. Yeah, yeah, and it has glow-in-the-dark ink on it. And stuff. So I think that's what that is. You can't see it, though. I can see it when I cover it up. Anyway, this is the buyer's giveaway. Uh, from what it looks like, as of right now, PSK has a commanding lead. But this is the round, everybody. This is the round where you can pull in, pull out, pull out all the stops and go wild and spend like your life depends on it. So uh, I, I forgot to show this the last two rounds. This is uh, a waffle. It's a uh, Marvel Age 4, first appearance of damage control. It is a double cover, 9496. That's how the way they grade them. They give you both the grades right here. You probably can't see that, but it's 94 on the outer cover, 96 on the inner cover. White pages, 20 spots total. There's 19 left, and it's $5 a spot that's shipped and insured. So if anybody's interested in doing that, get on it for five bucks. I'm going to move that over here. Okay. I'm going to start out. A bunch of video games you can kind of see them over here so this stack here is all games only like uh there's no inserts in any of these i'm gonna do these for five bucks each not all of them oh wow this one the case is even cracked this is halo 3 odst for the xbox 360. all these are going to be xbox 360 games so that's five. these are five dollars all of them are five dollars or just the stack this this the first four that i'm going to show are five dollars each okay and i don't know much about most of these <laughs> but uh yeah they're used i can tell you that 
Um, this one doesn't even have the label on it, but it's uh, Red Dead Redemption. Um, you know, Game of the Year edition. Wait, it says it's only disc two. Never mind. It doesn't even have both the discs in it. Is... All right, uh, Hot Mustard's gonna take your Halo. Okay, I gotcha. So five bucks on that one. Uh, here's Borderlands Platinum Edition. This only had one disc, right? I'm gonna be pissed if they didn't bring them up. All right. Yeah. Uh, Platinum Edition Borderlands. Um, five bucks on that. And then this is the Platinum Edition of Rainbow Six uh, Vegas. I played this game, and it's fun. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, it doesn't have the whatever the game booklet with it. But both of those are five bucks. All right. Hot, Mustard, Hot Mustard's going to take your Borderlands. I love the Tom Clancy games. I don't understand why people didn't under like them. I don't know. Rainbow Six, there's Rainbow Six Siege, and then the Rainbow Six Vegas. Both of those games were really fun. And I hadn't mm -hmm. heard, like, I don't, I'm not a big gamer. Like, I, love, I love Ghost Recon. So, like, I'm, I don't know. I think I have that in here. Yeah. Um, we'll know in a second. Uh, but these are, these are complete. They got the game booklets in them. Um, these are going to be $10. This is Black Side Area 51. Um, yeah, and like I said, it's got the booklet with it. Some of the paperwork still, whatever, that extra crap they put in there. That's going to be $10. We got Portal 2. Portal's a fun game, too, if you like puzzles and stuff, and you like to shoot stuff. That's 10 bucks on that. I haven't looked up any of these, so you might be getting screaming deals on some of them, and some of them might not be worth what I'm asking, so I don't know. 10 bucks each is... I figure that's a pretty easy one. Hot Mustard's going to take portals. Right. And PSK is going to ask if you're going to show some of your cards, too. Yeah, as soon as I'm done with this, I'll do the cards next. Uh, here's Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, again, it's got both the discs in it and the game. This Enter. one doesn't have the booklet. It has the Game Pass thing in it. I guess it doesn't have the booklet in it, but that one's 10 bucks. Uh, here's the uh, Anarchy Edition for Rage. It's still got the slipcover. Still got the booklet. It's got all three discs in it. This was the first game I ever played on the Xbox 360, and it was really fun, too. He's going to take your ghost. Ghost? Okay. We got Resident Evil number six. Still got the... Well, it doesn't have the booklet in it. It just has this insert, but it's got both the game discs in it. He's going to take your rage as well. Right on. Yeah, this is a great game. If you've never played it, this is a great game. Um, then we got, uh, this is Medal of Honor Warfighter. And it has, uh, this is, it has the beta for Battlefield 4 in it. But I mean, you can, you can get Battlefield. It doesn't have the game. He wants your Resident game. Evil too. All right. This is, uh, it's got both the discs in it. It doesn't have the booklet in it though. Well, it did. Uh, I'll do that one for five bucks since it doesn't have the booklet in it. Yeah, I dropped it on the floor. Uh, no, not on the floor. Flipping is the thing is in a case. Uh, here's a sniper ghost warrior. Got the booklet. Only had one disc. Ten bucks on that one. This is John Woo presents. Stranglehold, Stranglehold, uh, Collector's Edition. Uh, this one has the booklet, it has the disc, everything's there. Ten bucks on that. Skyrim, the Elder Scroll. That was a good game. It has the book in it. It's a little, oh, I guess it's made to look like that, maybe. I don't know. It's got the disc in it, anything's in there. We got a 10 out of 10 game. Yeah, it was a good game. Greatest games ever. Yep. <laughs> 10 on that. Here's Brink. Don't ask me. I've never played it before. Get the booklet. 10 bucks on that. And then these are both the Dead Island games that that don't suck. Uh, this is Dead Island, like the first one. It has the booklet in it and the game. I played both of these, and they're both great. I, you can play them 
over and over and over again because there's like multiple things you can do. And then this is Riptide, Head Island Riptide, the booklet, everything in there, good to go. So 10 bucks on any of those. I don't see uh... No coins, yeah. Okay. So let me put these away. Um, this is the last game that I have, and I just ripped one of my letters up. Uh, this is the Call of Duty Black Ops Collection. So it's Black Ops, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 3. It doesn't have the booklet, but you got all three of the games. Black Ops 3, you could slide, and it, like you could like freaking just sneak up on somebody, and it, it, it was horrible. Like, <laughs> unless you were good, really, really good. It, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you could like walk on walls and stuff. Um, I'm going to do this one for, uh, I'll do this for 20. So basically, you're getting three games for the price of two. Yeah. Anyway, if you're into that. No planes on these, so I'll move these out of the way. Watch it. Uh, no. Camera. camera down. I knew it was going to happen because it was just a matter of time. But we, I didn't do it. You can't blame me. No, I it. <laughs> I can, but it wouldn't be right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. Nope. We go back there. We go up there. It's just going to be a little janky for the rest you're of fine. this. You're fine. You're fine. I mean, my yeah, stage is probably going to slide down now because I you're had it take place until I elbowed it. You're good. Okay. On to some cards. Let's see what we got in here. Exactly. Blame Paul. Yeah, we'll just blame Paul. So this is, to start out with sets, this is the Valiant checklist, the 1990, oh, make it easy on me. I think it's 94, but it's the whole set of the Valiant cards. You get that many. There's a uh, 92. That's the checklist on the back. I do 10 bucks for this. Anybody wants it. Shipping on that kind of stuff is going to be weird. So whatever it costs is what you pay. I'm not going to like say it's going to be this and then have it be way less and then make money on your shipping. Hot Mustard's going to take your Valiant set. Gizmo's okay. not for sale. What's that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Sell it if Giz somebody wants to buy it. Giz okay, how much did you want for Gizmo? I have a vintage gizmo. This is a newer one. So, uh, just so you know, somebody cut the tag off there. Where's this spot at where the tag was? I don't see it. Oh. Um, he doesn't have plastic eyes. The eyes are stitched on. Um, the vintage okay. one had plastic eyes, but I do uh, 15 bucks. If you're interested. Oh. Believe that's cheaper than you'll find it on eBay, but. I haven't really looked it up in months. If you really want one, if uh, is this for you or somebody else asking? Teresa? Oh, that was for uh, Lady Death. Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, hey, if you if if you want an older one, like the actual vintage one from the '80s, uh, you can just DM me. I'll send you pictures of it. I have one of those too. And yeah, I have, I literally have hundreds of plush and they're not like shitty plushes. They're like actually ones that are worth money because I used to buy shit to sell on eBay and then I'm just really freaking lazy and I just never did. Um, All right, this um, is a, a DC know. card set. Ooh, uh, DC I cards? What? I have a bunch of DC cards. Um, I don't see what set it's from. And the thing is, like, it's it's yeah. gone up past. Okay, so the firepower. Let's see that. That's what they look like on the back. Oh, I can get way closer than that, can I? Yeah. Like, it's a Superman one. Um, I don't know if this is a full set. And it's not cooperating. They should just go right in this case, and it's totally not doing it. So... It says on here the full set is it's only 80 cards, so it's probably a full set. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I do 10 bucks on that as well if somebody wants it. All right. Can't guarantee it's a full set because I don't remember when I looked through it. Um, here's another weird that's like Valiant. It's the Death, the Dark Mate. You might recognize that Dark Mate where they did the black and yellow and red foil covers. Um, these Nathan, are the cards from those characters. Nathan's Nathan's Comic Planet's gonna take ten for your DC. Okay, cool. Or gonna um, this this is also a full set and it's ten bucks if you want it. Okay, Nathan's Comic Planet. I here. think. Uh, please confirm, Nathan. Let me make sure because it's, he said ten for the set. So I'm assuming. And Hot Mustard's gonna okay. take your other Valiant set. Gotcha. Okay, the next and last set that I have, this is the best one. This is $20. And this is the expansion <laughs> set from right. the Tops. Tops did a run of Jurassic Park. So you see the Jurassic Park on the back? Uh-huh. Okay, so this, when the card set came out, this is the expansion that had the gold foil on the bottom. And now my camera's all freaking stupid. Oh, there you go. These are the gold foil ones, and these are all like art from the comics, and they're there all these by comic artists, and they're all so in Nathan, great shape. Like none of them are messed up. Nathan's See? gonna take the set. The Jurassic Park ones. Yep, he said twenty. Okay. Been twenty. Yeah, yep. twenty on that one. Yep. And that's cheaper than you'll find it on eBay too. Like, yep. It's a good deal. All right, I really was sets. debating on even selling these, but I have two sets. And I gave right. one to my daughter. Two more okay. sets, and then we're we're done. Cause... I don't have any more sets. I just have packs of cards now. All right, well, show a couple packs. Cat, do you have anything for this next round? Uh, no. These okay. are uh, <laughs> Skybox, Star Trek. Damn it, my camera won't. Stupid. Star Trek. Okay, well, these are the Star Trek by Skybox. Uh, the, it's, it's Starbucks, Starbucks, <laughs> Star Trek and Master Series Edition. You can see I got a shitload of them. So if you're interested in those, I'm doing them for two bucks a pack. All of my sealed cards here are two bucks a pack. And if I can get my camera to come back down just to earth, There we go. Hey, there, there we go. go. Okay, there's those. Let me get these stupid things out of here. These are the DC Bloodlines. Is that right? Yeah, from uh, 19 something or other, 90s. Anyway, I got a whole shitload of those. Two bucks a pack. If you want to just buy a bunch, you can just say how many you want, or if you want them all, I can tell you how much they are in, in the comments afterwards. Um, we got, these are the Star Trek 1991 25th Anniversaries. This is Series 2, and this is Series 1. And you can see I got a bunch of these. And all these are two bucks a pack. I'll cut you a deal if you want to buy a bunch of packs, so I'll tell you. And then this is the next generation, series two. And this is series one. And you can see I got, I don't have as many, but I have a bunch of those. These, this whole bag right here is all VR troopers. And it's it, all the people from VR troopers, like the different people. If you're in, if you know about VR troopers, then you, you'll know what I mean. And the last thing I have, this is a sealed box of Skeleton Warriors. Never been opened. It's in pretty rough shape, but uh, still never been opened. And I'm doing uh, 30 bucks on this sealed box. And that's all my cards. That's it, guys. <clears throat> all right. Cool, cool. You did it. Yeah. I, did. I got <laughs> so to it all. If you guys are interested, make them an offer. You can't refuse. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. These are really cool, but if nobody buys it, I won't be su super sad. Right, I was, right, exactly. I like sealed boxes. I have a sealed box of Fright Flicks, but I ain't getting rid of that because I like horror shit. Nice. Not horror shit, horror. All right, we're gonna. Not enough. Yeah. Car. 
We're going to jump on over to Cat60 for his last round. Cat, what you got for us, you bum? I didn't say I had anything. Well, you mumbled, so I, I was figuring that was like, eh, okay, I can come up with something. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh... So this is from the first run, Deadpool 6, uh, Deadpool 10, which this is... Uh... I can't remember. It's something like um, the Great Lake Adventures become lightning rods. I think that's what it is. <laughs> um, Deadpool 20. Deadpool 21. And Deadpool 31. For some reason, I had partial sticky on there. Um, these are all in, these are all in high grade. Um, and then I have this killer Deadpool one, uh, nice. where Deadpool, one of the sitting on the throne things that he does, um, two, three, four, five, six books <clears throat> started at, uh, I'll start at, I don't care, 10 bucks. I know you were in <clears throat> there we go. $10, guys. Let's do it. Let's make I this. I mean, actually, round actually, the number 10 is worth more than that. Way more. <laughs> well, even that number one, because of the, it's a B homage, isn't it? Yeah, I, I don't know if that's what it is, because um, it, it could be considered one, mm -hmm. but Deadpool sits on the throne a lot. So they got a lot of uh, a lot of um, covers with him sitting on the throne. Like I think I think in this in this run number fifty seven, um, he's with a Playboy bunny. So that would have been ninety, maybe two thousand, maybe two thousand, two thousand one. I don't know if you're going to find an ASM 300 raw from any of us right tonight. Not for $2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Ooh, yes, I, I have one. Turn oh, God. You do. Yeah. And I had just seen them. Wash your mouth out with stuff, Lady Death. right here that was the fucked up part oh, is that I actually I actually have a... I know right oh, oh no it's it's not it's not in this box sorry listen I'm gonna show you something lady death here in a minute if I can get it here I, I think I know I think I know where it is I'm looking for a ASM 300 Niagara Falls variant, if you have one, Cap. That I don't have. Okay, while he's digging, we're going to go over to me. Lady Death. See? Like I said, wash your mouth out with soap. You see this? That's the Janet Jackson. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, wait, that crossing the streams on that one, though. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. Um, wait, no, why is no. my camera upside down? <laughs> no, go on the 300. Not tonight. No 300. Not tonight. Yeah, I'm not trying to sell one of mine because now is not the time. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind selling it because it's not in good shape. You know, if it's something you'd be interested in, it's not like a it's not like a even a nine candidate. It's not a contender. No. It's not a contender. I'd say it's about maybe a seven five. 
Hot mustard gas, that's actually not a print, that's a canvas, believe it or not. So. Uh, you, know, you know what? Hot mustard gas, I got that a few years ago. I don't know. I, I'm not sure where I got it. I, I made the frame myself, though. So, but. All right, I think hot mustard gas. Well, we have to go into overtime. So, all right, overtime. Here we go. Let's do this really quick. You're in a Deadpool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a uh, like stories of the of the books. Oh wow. That's cool. All it's right. uh, it's it's about Merc with the mouth, which was freaking killer run. They had some super yeah. dope covers. Yeah, that's probably the best one in my opinion. At least the ones yeah. I've read. Yeah, um, those are it's super dope, freaking. All right, here we go. We're in overtime, guys. Is that for sale? The Deadpool book. I mean, I don't know. Hot mustard gas. Believe it or not, I think I got that print off of, or that canvas off of wish.com. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's a Mark Brooks. Oh, damn. $45. Or you can give me 60 Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We are going into, or we are in overtime. Um, we got about 15 seconds left. I know this is the longest overtime ever, but it's because he keeps showing cool stuff and I get distracted. So. Uh, <clears throat> All right, guys. Oh, Guy Forge. Ah, uh, he just comes. He doesn't buy anything anymore. He just comes here and says he loves me. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> All right, there's the end line. It looks like Hot Mustard Gas is going to steal this Deadpool lot for twenty eight dollars. Right, so. Thank you, uh, HMG. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to jump on over to Slim. I think Slim's ready to go to bed. So here we go. Let's uh, do this, bad boy. All right. Thank you, everybody that made purchases tonight. Absolutely appreciate you. Appreciate you guys being here with us. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's get on over to the wheel. I'm going to shuffle this up a bunch of times. We're going to see who's going to win this buyer's giveaway. And uh, yeah, good luck, everybody. Yes, Anthony, most of us do take cash out. I love cash out. Yeah. So much better than PayPal. Good luck, guys. Arrow. Arrow. That's bomb. <laughs> I don't know if you're still here, Arrow. Arrow, but congratulations. That's going home to you absolutely free, buddy. Whammo. Nice get. Congratulations. I appreciate your purchases tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, if you guys are on the whatnots, make sure to pop on over there. Check me out tomorrow. I'll be on at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. As always, I got shows tomorrow and Sunday. I uh, normally do shows on Tuesdays, but the last couple of weeks I've been taking Tuesdays off. I've actually been like taking a day off, like not doing any work, which is kind of crazy. It's been kind of nice. Well, Sucks, uh, you know, making a little less money, but man working seven days a week morning till night sucks <laughs> yes it does, yes, it does. <laughs> so uh yeah thank you guys we appreciate you thank you panel thank you bum for uh, hosting um oh. i will definitely be back on wednesday and uh oh. i look forward to seeing you guys then wait 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 hold on hold on let me refresh before we do this you guys we need four more likes can we get four more likes before everybody says their goodbyes Hurry up, guys, because he's got a waffle. You want to show off the waffle one more time? Sure. Or did you put it away? Nope, I got it right here. So if we can get four more likes, guys, I'm giving away two spots, y'all. 
winner's choice waffle. You have your choice of the uh, Poison Ivy 17 signed by Nathan Zerdy in that green sig right there. These are $5 a spot. Uh, we have 23 spots left, I think. We've sold about half of them today. If you don't like that book, here's your other option. Signed by Nathan Zerdy, Catwoman number 47, slab 98. Sig right down there at the bottom. Those are the options on the winner's choice waffles. So y'all have your opportunity to be able to go to, to go hit the like button and I'll give away two spots y'all. So do it before this round is over, before we say our goodbyes. And hey, I'll Liz, use a hashtag. Um, you should uh, ask Barb. Did, was it Barb that showed a Nightwing book earlier? Yeah. Yes. You should show that book to Liz. I'll have to DM it to her. I already put all that stuff away. Oh, okay. She's a <laughs> big Nightwing fan, so. Yeah, yeah. And I know I got some stuff for her, too, I think. All right, guys. Don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. Here, here it is. And Slim knows what this means. What was your title last weekend? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I am the god of winner's choice. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Make sure you guys uh, remind Nate of that, too, when you see him next time. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say our goodbyes really quick before we do this. So uh, I'm going to give everybody else an opportunity to <laughs> say their goodbyes before we go. Okay. Since you're there. Goodbyes. Good. Goodbyes really quick. All right. Thank you for, for coming, Cap. And the earth is always round. <laughs> all right thanks cat appreciate Thank you, you guys. so all right you want to say your goodbyes thanks for having me on the madhouse i had a lot of fun selling stuff over here look at guys it's another lunatic right there this is my right uh, my screen and my glasses trick yep <laughs> is it making you sick yet look at right. my cool glasses Oh, bomb! What's up, Raphael? Good yeah. to see ya. Um, just so everybody is aware, hot mustard gas, HMG, was my big spender, so he's gonna get Ooh. this full price original piece of artwork. Congratulations, hot mustard gas, Ooh. for being so free with your wallet. Oh. Other than that, we'll see ya. Hey. Monday, and I know it conflicts with the Madhouse, so I keep it short and sweet. But I do my uh, my my war claim sale this Monday. So if you have two hours to kill, you can double screen it. I know it's possible. Dual screen on your laptop. I do it all the time at work, and you can go to both of them. It's fun. We have trivia for free. Is that like all double right. air dicking? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Okay. All right, guys. We're you seen do that? What's that movie that, uh, what's his name? Is it the, the dude that plays Peacemaker? Uh, Stanicki? John Cena? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's talking about Eric Dickinson. Ricky Stanicki. Oh it's fucking uh, the greatest. It's the greatest thing he's ever done. It is hilarious. <laughs> All right, guys. Here he's we go. an air dicker. Two spots. Two spots, guys. Here we go. Let's do it. Good luck, you all. Thank you all for being here and hanging out with us tonight. We greatly appreciate you guys. If it wasn't for you, there would be no Madhouse. I don't know who that is. Couch and Slouch. Couch and Slouch. I've seen the name before. With C. Bizzle. <laughs> Are you here? Sound off in the chat. Couch and Slouch. Yes. All right. All right, Couchin, uh, send me a DM on um, Instagram, Slim Dickens Comics with an X. So if you do win, um, I know how to get in touch with you and where to send it. Yep. I, your banner's running on the bottom. <gasps> All right. Here we go, guys. Uh, congrats, congrats. One more. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Hey, 
Look at that. Anthony Kirby. Kirby. I should have put my name in there. Wouldn't that be some shit? Right? <laughs> it's been the way when I win. <laughs> hey, and Captain and Slouch, and welcome to the Madhouse. So, all right, let's do one more. I'm feeling generous. For There's all you guys hanging room out for with another us, lunatic. We appreciate you. Congrats, Kirby. Who else is going to. Hot mustard gas. There we go. Dang. All right, guys. I've got everybody's names added on uh, the Instagram post. How, how many spots you got left now? Uh, Hold on. Let's see. I still got it up, Cat, if you need One, it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've sold half of them today, so 20 spots left. There we go, okay. guys. When you get to the last one, it's mine. All right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out I'll with the good. Madhouse tonight. We greatly appreciate it. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be here. So TGIF, <laughs> and you guys have yourself a great weekend. Hit the sellers up in the DM. Hey, you guys hey, hold on. Flatliners, dude. That movie's hold awesome. On. Hold yeah. on, Teresa. Okay. Spin another one. I'll, I'll, I'll buy a spot for somebody right now. All right. Let's do it. No better blues. Oh, Let's man. do it. Good Is luck that a Spike Lee joint? I want, yeah. I want uh, hashtag air dicking. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. okay, we can. We can do it. No, no just spin right. it. Good oh, luck, guys. Oh, Good luck, y'all. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate y'all. So, Chris, Chris Arrow. Arrow. That bomb. All right. I will put arrows. Look at that, guys. We're just hanging out with us and hitting that like button, y'all. So, you guys, make sure you guys, um, uh, if you see anything that these guys have put up, make them an offer that they can't refuse. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Remember, there's always room for another lunatic in the madhouse, guys. That's a great movie, too.